guys, this is Madam Info welcoming you to this channel. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button below. Pakiclick na din po ang bell button para malaman ninyo agad kapag may bago tayong video na makapagbibigay ng mga kamangha-manghang kaalaman lalo na tungkol sa science at mystery. Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Good evening everyone. Hello. Once again, we're live dahil ayaw na natin ma-miss ang pagdating ng SpaceX Crew Dragon sa International Space Station. So, ngayon ay papalapit na ang Crew Dragon sa kay sila Bob Benken at Doug Hurley papalapit na sila sa ISS so kung nakikita nyo sa screen ayan na iba na pala yung screen Wait lang, hindi ko kayo makita. Ayan. Ayun. Kumusta? Kasama ko ba kayo nagpuyat kagabi? Hi, Exodus Gaming. Gaming Demon. Adrian Paipa. Magandang gabi po sa inyo. So, um, nung Webes, sana ang target na makalipad ng Crew Dragon, no? Pero hindi ito natuloy dahil sa sama ng panahon. So, um, ngayon, uh, balikad kaninang madaling araw, matagumpay na nakapag-lift off ang kanilang sasakyan na Crew Dragon sa ibabaw ng Falcon 9 rocket sa pangalawang attempt. Ayan, nakikita ngay nyo ngayon sa screen ang Crew Dragon na papalapit sa International Space Station. Ang target nila ay mga 10.29, 10.30, makakapag-dock na. Ibig sabihin, makakadaong na or makokonekta na yung Crew Dragon sa ISS. Boss Dexter, parang mabilis nga po. Actually, 19 hours. Pero, yung Soyuz ng Russia, inaabot lang sila ng anim na oras para makadating sa ISS. Pero, ito naman ay unang biyahe pa lang ng Crew Dragon na may, sak may sakay na astronaut. So, talagang kailangan ay maingat na maingat sila. So, kaninang madaling araw, di ba parang naging perfect ang lahat na nangyari, no? Para sa mga sinamahan akong magpuyat at talagang hindi natulog para lang hintayan ang paglipad ng Crew Dragon. Maraming maraming salamat po. Napakasaya at napaka-exciting talaga ng bagong kabanatang ito sa space exploration. Ito yung kauna-unahang spacecraft ng US na ginawa ng isang pribadong kumpanya. Ito rin ang unang paglipad ng spacecraft na may sakay na astronauts mula sa US sa loob, sa loob ng halos isang dekada. Kasi nga laging sa Russia na sila sumasakay or uh, lumilipad no, nang gagaling ang rocket. Ngayon pa lang uli, after almost 10 years, nasa US Uh, nakapag-launch ng rocket na may, may sakay na astronauts. 
So, i-recap natin yung nangyari, no? Ten, nine, so, eight, ito seven, yung nangyari kagabi. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift T plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9, and look at them go. Falcon power telemetry nominal. M1D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. So yan yung nangyari kagabi. Um, We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. 9 seconds nakabalik at nakapag-landing yung Falcon 9 sa drone M1D ship na. Of course, I still love you. Isa rin itong tagumpay ay sa SpaceX. Dahil ay magagamit uli ang rocket. At yung pagiging reusable ng mga rocket ng SpaceX, yan yung dahilan kung bakit nagagawa nilang mas mura ang halaga ng paglo-launch ng rocket. 4, 3, 2, Ayan, balik natin. Ito na yung nangyayari ngayon. Ayan, ang Crew Dragon. Ang uh, layo ngayon ng uh, Crew Dragon sa ISS ay less than 30, 30 meters na lang. So, napakalapit na niya. Ang galing, no? Nahabol nila. Sabi ko nga kaninang madaling araw, ang ISS, hindi iyan stationary, gumagalaw siya. Lumilipad siya, ang, ang bilis niya ay nasa mga 20, uh, 27,000 kilometers per hour. Kaya napakabilis niyan. John Elmer Garcia, sorry po, hindi po natin matatanggal yan. John Ray Anyosa, you're welcome po. So, nung uh, natulog na tayo kagabi or kaninang madaling araw, Dragon, SpaceX, so mga, you are go to begin mga 7 a.m., um, ipinakita naman nila Bob Benken at Doug Hurley ang loob ng Crew Dragon. Dragon um, copies. Natin. Ayan, ito na sila. Oh, yung, uh, kanina yan ng mga 7 a.m. So, nakapagpalit na sila ng damit, nakakain well, na rin sila ng hapunan niya. At uh, inannounce nga pala nila Next na itinangalan uh, nila sa, ang, uh, sa Crew him. Dragon ay Endeavor. So with you, uh, Kasi may tradisyon ang mga astronauts and, uh, na pinapangalanan nila ang mga dragon. sasakyan nilang spacecraft. Couple, uh, Gaya ng Apollo 11, di ba? Ang pang pinangalan nila dito ay Eagle. So, sinabi nga ni Neil Armstrong na the Eagle has landed. So, yun, may mga pangalan sila. Sila Bob at Doug, uh, ang pinangalan nila ay Endeavor. Ang ibig sabihin nito sa Tagalog ay pagsisikap. Yung unang lipad kasi rin nila, pareho sila na ang first time na lumipad sila sa space, ang gamit nila ay ang Space Shuttle Endeavor. Kaya may sentimental value sa kanila yung pangalan na yun. 
Without further ado, we would like to uh, welcome you aboard Capsule Endeavor. Uh, we chose Endeavor for a few reasons. One, because of this incredible Endeavor, uh, so, um, NASA, SpaceX, and the United States has been on uh, since the end of the shuttle program back in 2011. The other reason we named it uh, Endeavor is a little more personal to Bob and I. No, kumpara sa mga napakaraming control buttons on nung mga Endeavor, sinakyan nila noon and, uh, Space Shuttle. And it just meant so much to us to carry on that name. Uh, that's what we decided to go with. So we hope you enjoy that name and once again, welcome on board. Well, good evening, everybody, Ayan, and uh, welcome rin. aboard Endeavor, the uh, SpaceX Sandedo. vehicle headed Sandedo. to the International Sandedo. Space Station. Uh, today we... Okay, so Adan Elardi, opo, malapit na malapit na po. Nandun na sila, katapat na nila ang ISS, less than 30 meters. Ayan na, dumidikit na actually sila sa ISS. Ito na po yung docking na tinatawag. D-O-C-K-I-N-G po, ah. hindi yung dock na parang, parang bibi. Ito ay docking, parang pagdaong. Shout out, Justin Kent. Mark Mejio, salamat po. Nga pala, merong ano, yung ginagamit nila Bob Benken at Doug Hurley na simulator, meron, pwede nyo siyang makita, pwede nyo siyang gamitin, uh, pwede kayong uh, mag-practice na mag-dock. Uh, dun po sa Facebook page natin, pinost ko po dun yung web address, yung URL kung saan pwede nyong gamitin yung simulator. So, kung nagpa-follow po kayo sa Madam Info Facebook page, makikita nyo po doon at pwede kayong pumunta sa simulator ng SpaceX at pwede kayong maging piloto ng, ng Crew Dragon. Gary Narciso, pasensya na po kanina pa nagpapashout out. Ayan, pasensya po kung hindi ako nakakapag-shout out dahil gusto ko po kayong i-update sa nangyayari para ma-explain ko kasi kung tutuusin pwede nyo naman tong panoorin di ba sa SpaceX or sa NASA. Pero kaya ako po 'to ginagawa para mas ma-explain ko po sa inyo. Kaya kung hindi ko po kayo na sh shout out, pasensya na po. Marvin Moreno, shout out po sa inyo. Joseph from Kuwait, hello po. Narinig ko po ata 2 meters na lang ang layo ng Crew Dragon sa International Space Station. Napakalapit na. Itong... Um, nakikita natin ay camera po ng ISS. Soft capture complete. Ayan.
Reynold Fernandez. Bakit daw walang star? Hindi po siguro nakaka-capture ng camera ang ang star dahil mas maliwanag ang Crew Dragon. Ayan, ayan ang mga madalas po itanong ng mga flat earthers, bakit walang star? Uh, bakit may shadow? Ayan. Ang at, ang atin pong mapapayo, uh, medyo bawas-bawasan natin yung pagdududa natin kasi po ito nangyayari na talagang nakikita na natin ang pangyayari. Mahirap na itong itanggi. Di ba? So Uh, nandiyan ang mga astronauts buhay na buhay RJ Aris or RJ RJ Arts or RJ Aris ano kaya ang palagay nila hindi po natin alam pero ang importante wag natin silang husgahan kasi um, unawain natin sila na posible kasi na nababrainwash lang sila or yun talaga yung feeling nila na, na na yun ang paniniwala nila as much as possible kung ipapaliwanag natin sa kanila mas maganda di po ba na sa kanila na yun kung maniniwala sila sa atin or sa ibang mga flat earthers yan medyo nauubos na po yung boses ko kasi dahil dun sa puyat kagabi Ayan, uh, sino yun? Gary Narciso. Para po sa mga nagme-message sa akin sa Facebook, uh, pasensya na rin po. Yun po ang medyo hindi ko nagagawa dahil marami po masyadong uh, ginagawa sa video pa lang. Ubus na po yung oras. Kaya siguro po mas nakikita ko pa yung mga comments kesa yung sa mga PM. Okay, so, ayan. nakapag na sila. Ang iintay na lang natin ay yung pagbukas ng hatch. Pag binukas na yon, makakapasok na yung mga astronauts sa International Space Station. Jerome Buscas, pa-shout out. Shout out po sa inyo. Bakit parang walang Chinese sa ISS? Oo nga po, parang hindi po talaga sila sinama. Na, parang nakaban ang mga Chinese. Gaano kaluwag ang ISS? Ang ang size po nito ay sing laki ng isang football field. 'Yon, halos magkasing laki sila ng isang buong football field. Ganon po siya kalawak. Hindi kami naniniwala hanggat di kami na shout out. The Salia family, hello po. At nasa inyo po yon kung maniniwala kayo. <laughs> Ako ang panuntunan ko lagi ayaw kong mamilit. So, it's up to you. Ginagawa ko lang po yung makakaya ko para ma-report ito, maipakita sa inyo. It's it's still up to you. Salamat po Josh Cortana. Ayan. So, medyo mabilis po ulit ang ating chat, kaya hindi ko po mabasa. Paano kaya nila nahabol? Ayan, may technique sila. Um, meron silang mga tinatawag na burns. Uh, pinap minamaniubra nila ang, ang spacecraft para tumaas ng tumaas yung orbit uh, hanggang sa mahabol na nila yung orbit mismo ng International Space Station. two statute miles flying together over the uh, northern border of China and Mongolia. So, 
Really yeah. exciting. We're just waiting for this docking complete to be confirmed. We'll be expecting to hear some words, obviously, from the crew on board and all the excited teams down here. We're just waiting for this moment. And then it's time to start getting Dragon integrated into the station. There will be an umbilical that will get mated, and that will allow Dragon to flow data and power into the station systems, and then it will be over to the crew. MTS is configured. We're proceeding with hook driving. All right, and they did a quick, uh, so the, the motion control system on board station now back under those control moment gyros, so hand it over from the Russian thrusters, and Dragon now given the go to drive those hooks. We have to do that changeover of attitude control before we drive those hooks as the Russian thrusters a little bit. Uh, more dynamic in their control of attitude. And if you had a thruster firing while you were starting to drive those hooks, that could miss a line. So going over to the smoother control moment gyros on the US side, now controlling the attitude on board the station. And those hooks, those 12 hooks on Dragon, about to start driving. Right now, uh, Dragon and ISS attached, uh, just flying <laughs> off the east coast of, uh, of China, uh, just underneath Japan. Attached to each other, we, uh, we recently passed over to the, the orbital night, so we're on the, uh, currently the dark side of the world. And actually, uh, we're, we're lucky enough to to see the soft capture happen just as we were crossing over the Terminator line. And if you're wondering what you're looking at, this is uh, one of the cameras on the very outboard part of the Japanese experiment module looking back uh, in towards the very front part of Node 2 where Dragon is currently docked. We are in an orbital nighttime. That's why everything is so dark. But you're looking at Dragon. It's, it is um, horizontal to the ground. Uh, so the hatch part is uh, right where that green light pretty much is. And you can see the nose cone still illuminated above it. And it is currently attached to an international docking adapter on the International Space Station. And inside that capsule are Bob Bankin and, and Doug Hurley, uh, first astronauts to fly on a, a privately developed vehicle up to the International Space Station. Both test pilots got, got to do some fun tests today. Have a few more steps before they can actually get aboard uh, and ingress to the International Space Station. And that's uh, what we were heard over the uh, the big loop, that transition, which allows us to then uh, proceed with hard capture. And we're seeing the first set of hooks. So the first six out of the twelve are now closed. Six more to go. Ayan, pasensya na po, nakakalimutan ko yung audio. Pag nagsasalita ako, ay nakakalimutan kong ibaba yung audio ng ating video. Now the combined ISS Dragon vehicle. Meanwhile, inside the capsule, Bob and Doug also standing by for this hard capture to complete. And once we have that docking complete call, uh, they'll be able to start stepping through uh, a number of procedures to get them ready to move into the International Space Station. They'll get the, the go ahead to doff or get out of their suits. And then they'll have some activities on the Dragon side uh, to prepare for the hatch opening. Uh, Chris Cassidy will mainly be working on the station side to pressurize the vestibule. So as Shiv has talked about, the, the space between the, the Dragon capsule and the space station was exposed to vacuum. And even after this tight seal has occurred, we'll still be at vacuum inside. So we'll actually open up a valve to uh, supply air from the Bisaya station side virus that salamat space po. between the Dragon and station hatchways. Sino gumawa ng ISS? Ito ay kooperasyon ng iba-ibang mga bansa. Siyempre kasama ang United States, 
nandiyan din ang Canada, pati ang Russia ay kasama nila dito. Ang mga European countries, ang um, mga labing siyam na bansa ang magkatulong-tulong na nagumawa sa ISS. Ayan, hard capture complete daw. Naka-excite na makita na pumapasok na sila Bob Benken at Doug Hurley sa loob ng International Space Station. John Ray Anyosa, bakit walang Pinoy sa ISS? Oo nga. Sana meron ng maging astronaut, mag-training, mag-aral ng mabuti, at baka sakali na matanggap, di ba, mapili bilang astronaut sa NASA. Roger Garcia, nakarating na po sila sa kanilang pupuntahan. Sila po ay nasa International Space Station. Isa po itong artificial satellite na umiikot-ikot sa ating Earth sa ibabaw ng Earth na mga 400 kilometers ang layo. Paano sila makakakain dyan? Gar Carlo Lozano, meron po silang mga supply ng pagkain pero um, yung pagka-package ng pagkain nila ay sa paraan na hindi po makalat kasi po lumulutang lahat ng bagay dun sa ISS. So, pag um, siguro maglagay ka ng isang bagay doon, uh, lulutang-lutang yun, pati yung mga kinakain nila. Kaya, masyado silang maingat sa packaging ng mga pagkain at syaka, syempre, dapat hindi rin, hindi rin ito uh, masisira. No? Yung tanong kanina nga pala, uh, Gano katagal na ba ang ISS? Since December 2018 pa siya, pero ang unang mga residente sa ISS uh, ay nag-umpisa noong 2000, year 2000. At uh, tinatarget na uh, magstay pa or manatili ang ISS na operational hanggang 2030. Anidoro Channel, wow! Salamat po, nakipagpuyatan kayo sa akin. Yes, you're back. Welcome back. Ayan, sabi docking sequence is complete. Tapos na po ang pagdadock. Nababasa ko po yung nag-thank you. Uh, marami rin pong salamat at uh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure po na maihatid ito sa inyo. Mayroon po silang bathroom sa ISS at kakaiba po ang paraan nila kung, kung paano gamitin ang kanilang bathroom. Salamat po RJ Arts. Para saan ang ISS? Ang karamihan po ng ginagawa sa ISS ay mga science experiments, yung mga eksperimento na hindi magawa dito at mas mainam gawin sa isang environment na uh, merong microgravity, ibig sabihin walang gravity. So, yun po, meron silang mga experiments para sa medisina, sa agrikultura, at sa iba-ibang industriya. Nakakatulong po ang mga eksperimentong ginagawa nila. Meron silang sa, sa, sa cancer, para sa gamot sa cancer, uh, at iba-iba pa po. At isa pa dito rin nila na susubukan uh, kung paanong tatagal ang mga tao sa, sa ganitong kondisyon, no? 
na uh, sa space, walang oxygen. Kumbaga parang practice na rin nila para pag nakapunta na sila sa Mars. So alam na nila yung gagawin nila. Like sila na yung nagpa-produce ng sarili nilang tubig, uh, ng sarili nilang oxygen. May ginagawa silang mga proseso para ma, uh, mag, makapag-produce sila ng tubig, oxygen. Biyahe sa Mars 2022, um, naka-target po yan. At sa ngayon, ginagawa pa yung kanilang gagamitin na sasakyan, yung Starship at sin, um, marami pang testing na mangyayari. Nakakailang prototypes na sila, apat na ata, at hindi pa gumagana. Minsan, nagtatagumpay sila sa, sa kanilang static fire test, pero yung nakaraan, yung kanilang pang-apat na prototype ay sumabog. So, uh, subok ulit, meron na ulit sila na bagong prototype. Ayan, nabubulol ako. <laughs> Sorry. Sinong kumukuha ng cam? Meron po silang camera na naka, naka steady dun sa, sa Crew Dragon at meron din silang dalang camera na, na pwedeng sila ang kumuha. Uh, Josh Kuritana, babalik po sila Bob Benken at Doug Hurley sa Earth. Uh, pag nakabalik po sila, nakapag-landing sila ng maayos, Ibig sabihin, dun pa lang natin masasabi na talagang successful or tagumpay ang buong misyon. Laureline Lane, ah, Laureline Lain, Marasigan, shout out po sa 5 years old son. Ayan, teka, nawala. <laughs> sa anak niya, hello. Si Clay Errol. Ayan. Hello, Clay Errol. Nanonood ka pala ngayon. Hi sa iyo. Pinapahay ka ni Mami. issues when Bob is doffing after he opens his structural zipper check all three bladder zipper heads to see if any are partially closed it is possible that if the head is backed off slightly that the white tooth is partially visible or a small gap can be seen between the end of the zipper head and the gasket end please report observations Kathy, Bob will take a close look at his zippers when he dops, and he'll get dopping first, so uh, we'll let you know as soon as we see something or if we see something. Great. Thank you so much. Wow. So now uh, Dragon has completed its docking sequence. There's a number of checks. Um, that, that was an absolutely uh, gusto ko po i-welcome si, uh, si Sir Rotten uh, Roll. Hello right po sa inyo. Um, talking about the the soup performance. Roy TV, hi. On Dragon Dragon. Gotta turn the cameras off first before we can get them out of their suits. Absolutely. <laughs> so, um, space RJ Arts, talaga. Thank you, sir. Update. Meron na tayo tayong 1,000 views. Wow, welcome po sa inyong lahat. Kung ngayon pa lang po kayo na. Uh, pumasok in dito. You, you Welcome the po. Dragon spacecraft is now docked to the International Space Station, docked at 7:16 uh, a.m. local time. Yep. Um, so 7:16 a.m. sa US um, uh, yeah, Eastern Daylight there. Time. It was just under a 19-hour journey Nung from their launch ang crew dragon. to their docking. So pretty much so right on what we were yun expecting. Yun they got there a little bit early today, which is nice, as they were able to get through all those burns. Maaga uh, ang kanilang I mean, it's, it's a little while. They have to do that Sir Rat and Roll, ako rin po hindi ko ma-follow dahil mabilis check, po yung chat. Pero nakita ko uh, po yung message nyo. I've got both uh, structural zippers on my gloves uh, lower. Jerry Albas, 
Wow, salamat po sa panonood. It's visible on both sides. It looks like a full white tooth. I'll give you an update once I get to the... Kathy Jones, yes. Sana po matuloy ulit ang moon landing. White teeth on both Gary sides Marciso, and we'll await your next mga test. Aliens po yan, ah. <laughs> so the crew right now just going through some checks of their gloves. They're Kino about to get Roque, out of their first suits. Filipino That'll be the first astronaut. step for the crew on board Dragon. For the crew on board station, Chris Cassidy is going to start getting that vestibule pressurized and then they're going to do leak checks. So they're going to be actually taking atmosphere from station, putting it into that vestibule. And then once we get all the leak checks done, things are thermally stabilized, it'll be time for hatch opening. We'll be able to see Bob and Doug get into the space station for the first time uh, from on board the Dragon spacecraft. And again, for Doug Hurley, this is the exact port he was at almost nine years ago when he was on the very last space shuttle mission. And now he's commanding the Could first commercial vehicle to dock senyo. with the International Space Station. I think that's going to do it for us and Hawthorne. More power, We're going to give you salama. into the very capable hands <laughs> of Gary Jordan from to take you through the rest <laughs> of the hatch opening. We're going to be watching from here and following along. We can't wait to see these crew members on board the International Space Station. Thank you for everybody who tuned in. We hope you enjoyed the launch. We hope okay, you enjoyed, enjoyed the ride up hill. Muna, we really um, hope you were with us every single moment from suit up until now. So you've been up for over 24 hours. Uh, but it's been an incredible you know? experience for us Let's to see, see these guys get on board the International Space Station, to watch later. Dragon go through the paces, to be lofted into orbit on Falcon 9. Something we've been waiting for for years, seeing it come um, to fruition, I'm still grappling with. Dragon uh, but it was really good. The video is a joke. It was an honor doing this with you today. Stream. Yeah, absolutely, uh, Dan. Uh, you know, the um, Dragon Captain Magnana. Can't, can't step on the crew. That's, that's the on the role. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, it, it, there are some really great words there from all the flight like, control teams about how this was a joint partnership between NASA and SpaceX. I think everyone is over the moon here at SpaceX for this. Um, Bob and Doug have got to be excited and, and now back, back to business to, to get the vestibule ready to go Jerome and then uh, get them on board the station. So again, thank you for following us. Please, um, please continue to watch uh, as Gary takes over I will for announce the hatch opening portion and uh, keep following our social media for, for more updates on, on what's channel. happening with the hatch opening. Makikita nyo naman yung upcoming li live stream. Over to you, Gary. Thank so, you, Shiva. Thank you, Dan. Um, what an incredible flight for Bob and Doug lifting off just yesterday and Thank now you, in space attached Marami to the International Space Station. Salamat. Some kind words all over after docking at 9.16 a.m. So Central and a hard mate uh, just 11 minutes chat. later. We're still not done here. We're going to take you through the uh, pressurization sequence and eventually hatch opening and of the International Space Station. Jam. That's for Super Space Chat. Dragon na, dragon uh, kung sino yung gusto mag-donate. Although hindi ko po masyadong uh, sino-promote you yan. But, uh, thank you po. Thank you so much. Jun Jun, may UFO sightings Excellent. ba? Yun ang hindi ako updated. Although parang may narinig nga ako or may nabasa ako na We're going to pressurize the vestibule and eventually PNJ, get to... Uh, yes, it's a while, no? Thank you so much. And SpaceX with an update from Bob. It looks like a uh, white tooth on the uh, um, leg zipper as well. Jerry Maya Vacunawa. We'll Shout out sa family Vacunawa. Yun ang bilis ko na magbasa. Uh, lower leak check pressure. Copy. Really appreciate the report. Thank audio. you. Teams behind me will be configuring the Dragon and the International Space Station to welcome Bob and Doug aboard. Shout out Joseph uh, David first, Acevedo. Course, the, uh, International Space Station Attitude Control. Control moment gyros. Watching from uh, Universe. Holding the uh, Dragon in place through the hard capture sequence. We'll Ayan, parang ayaw ko pa magpaalam sa inyo. Kaya lang kasi hin, um, parang gusto ko munang siguraduhin kung anong time yung hatch opening para hindi naman masayang yung oras nyo, no? Malakas ba ang internet sa ISS? Yes, kasi nakakapag uh, video nga sila doon, nakakapag live sila doon na nakikita natin dito. Aboard the International Space Station, Commander Chris Cassidy standing by in uh, node 2. Ayan, ang, uh, right that is the ang sasalubong po kila Bob Benkin at Doug Hurley ay si Commander Chris Cassidy, isang NASA astronaut. Uh, get a nice mix in there. Uh, yeah, nakahanda na siya, naka-ready na siya. Yeah, nakikita niya siya ngayon. Bubuksan na niya. Ayan, bubuksan na yata. Eh, huwag na tayong mag-off. No, sa tingin nyo, tuloy na natin. 
inhibit uh, any hatch opening process. Anthony today. Rehidor, sige po, ayaw ko nga magpaalam eh. <laughs> Dan Elarde, yes po, naliligo sila dahil meron po silang banyo doon. Kuya J, talaga po, solid. Salamat po. Solid, solid din ako sa inyong mga subscribers. Kaya nga po tayo nag-live ngayon para po ito sa inyo dahil sa mga request nyo. MJ Channel. Tanaw bu Ay, sorry na wala. <laughs> Tanaw ba nila ang sun at moon? Yes po, nakikita nila yan. Pati ang earth, nakikita nila. Ayun, nakita nyo si uh, Commander Chris Cassidy na nagfo-float, lumulutang-lutang sa ISS. Hiroki Wada. Yes po, ginamit po nila ang Falcon 9. Yan ang nagdala sa, uh, sa Crew Dragon papuntang space meron po tayong video nyan uh, yung live stream natin kaninang madaling araw pwede nyo pong balikan at mapapanood nyo kung paano nag lift off ang Falcon 9 So, ang ginagawa po ngayon, pinapressurize muna yung nasa gitna ng Crew Dragon at ng ISS. Importante kasi na pareho yung environment ng uh, ISS at saka ng Crew Dragon uh, para walang mangyaring uh, hindi maganda, no? Ayan, nawawala ang ating video. So, para dun sa mga hindi po nakapanood kagabi, ipakita ko muna yung lift off or babalik na sila. Ayan. Okay, so, nandito pa sila sa control center intermittently throughout the repressurization process but the teams here will be monitoring all of the procedures Again, pressurizing that vestibule and eventually getting to that hatch opening. Romel Opis, kung gusto ko po ba makapunta sa ISS, mas gusto ko pong manood. <laughs> Takot po ako sa rocket. Salamat po, Moro Songs. Thank you so much. Exodus Gaming Anong oras sa kanila ngayon? I think they're following US time Sinusunod rin po nila ang time sa US Mark Christian Pengson Shout out po sa inyo Napakaraming emojis went through candidate training and Zaldi officially Caballero. became uh, an astronaut just recently. Ayan, Jeremiah Vakunawa. Nasugot ko na po yan kanina. Um, marami po silang ginagawang science experiments sa ISS. At um, dahil nakakatira po doon ang mga astronauts, parang practice na rin po nila for, for future uh, space programs. Kagaya po ng Uh, kung magistay sila sa Mars or sa Moon, sa buwan. <laughs> um, yung mga ginagawa kasi nila sa ISS, so nakakapag-produce sila ng oxygen, ng, ng sarili na ng tubig. Again, yung survival ba get, sa labas uh, ng Earth? To that first, the International Space Station Attitude Control has been successfully switched. May oxygen ba sa ISS? Yes po, actually, sila mismo nakakapag-produce ng oxygen na paghihiwahiwalay nila ang, di ba, ang tubig ay gawa sa hydrogen and oxygen. 
So na- nahihiwalay po nila yon sa sa mga proseso na Ano ba to yung from the International Space Station? Dragon copies on Dragon to ground that uh, power has been established. Just uh, let us know when we should make a uh, hard line comm check. We will, so thank you. Ayun, alala ko na sa BATIA process, yan po yung ginagamit nilang proseso para sa methane and uh, hydrogen carbon na naghalo-halo na Saan po sila naglalaba? Saan nga ba? <laughs> Kasi tingin ko um pinapadala nilang ulit nila pabalik sa Earth. Hindi hindi kasi nila ginagawa na 'yan sa sa ISS. So meron silang supply ng mga damit suot na lang sila ng suot and then lahat ng marurumi nila ibabalik nila sa earth so ito maraming proseso ang chinecheck ni Chris Cassidy bago mabuksan ang hatch Okay, yung tungkol sa damit, um, it's just the thought, no? Uh, iniisip ko lang kasi hindi ko rin masyadong na-research yung tungkol dyan. Uh, iniisip ko lang kasi parang wala na silang time doon maglaba dahil marami silang activities like mga science experiments. Uh, kaya, syempre, hindi naman nila gagawin na yun. But it's just the thought. I, I'm not really sure. Yesterday at 2.22... Ano po ang magandang course para maging astronaut? Um, tingin ko yung mga science courses like physics, um, engineering din siguro. Paano na, nakapunta yung commander? Si Chris Cassidy, ay, kaya nandun na siya sa ISS. Sumakay po siya sa Soyuz rocket ng Russia. So, yung Soyuz ay spacecraft ng Russia para makapag uh, lift off ang Soyuz. Manggagaling sila sa Baikonur Cosmodrome. Ito po ay nasa yeah, Kazakhstan so na nasa uh, border ng Russia. So, magkatabi lang sila ng Russia. Doon po pumupunta yung mga astronauts. Uh, yung mga nasa astronauts, doon din sila magta-training sa Russia para po makasakay sila sa Soyuz. So, yun po ang nagdala kay Chris Cassidy sa ISS. Uh, the attitude control has since been switched uh, to enable some thrusters on the International Space Station. We did get confirmation of good power uh, being delivered from ISS to the internet to the uh, Dragon. Next will be to test some hard line communication between Dragon and the International Space Station. Okay, so mm, mag uh, intermission po muna ako. Kukuha lang po ako ng tubig. I'll be right back.
Dragon End Station, Dragon End Station. It's Houston calling on the big loop. We're prepared and getting ready to transition the comm system to hardline, at which time we're going to do a couple comm checks. We just want to make sure everybody's on board with that uh, and aware. So, Dragon, first, maybe let me know if you hear this and if you're good with that plan. Yeah, Houston uh, Endeavor on the big loop, we had you loud and clear. Houston Station copies and concurs. Okay, Endeavor and Station, we have you loud and clear on RF right now. We are putting it in work now, so transitioning comm system to hardline, and we'll call you back for voice checks momentarily. Endeavor copies. This is Mission Control Houston. The voice you just heard was Capcom Joshua Kutrick from here in Mission Control Houston. Uh, we're laying okay, through the I'm big loop that's integrated communications with Dragon and the International Space Station, just taking us through those procedures until uh, we get to hatch opening. Now there's an umbilical hmm. connection with Dragon connecting Dragon to the International Space Station. We did get good confirmation but, that power uh, is flowing uh, from the International Space Station to possible. Dragon. Next, we'll be proceeding with some of the communications checks. The big loop uh, established on the C2V2 common communications for visiting vehicle through uh, some of the last legs of the rendezvous and docking of Dragon uh, to the International Space I'm Station. Getting a special effect. We'll switch that over to hardline communications, testing that out here shortly. Para siyang nakaupo pero walang upuan kasi po lumulutang siya. So microgravity. Si Little Earth yung kanilang stuff toy na dala last time. No just on the other side is the hatch. That hatch is separating uh, Ayan. between the international space station and the adapter. One more hatch to go after that. That hatch Ayan, now up, na po yung bosses ko. Uh, uh, siya nila Bob Benkin at Doug Hurley pag uwi nila sa Earth. Ito yung stuff toy na lumulutang-lutang dun sa Crew Dragon nung Demo 1 nung wala pang sakay na astronauts. Okay, South Southern Leyte. Shout out po sa mga taga Leyte. Part of an initiative to uh, engage viewers and provide views that Zoya Irma, wow, from Montana, great. Falls, we'll wow. Salamat po sa pagtuto. Now being recorded during this historic moment today, May 31st, 2020. Ayan, hindi ko po masundan yung mga chat. Sorry, medyo mabilis uli. Anim ba ang tao? Ang nasa ISS po ngayon ay tatlo plus si Bob at Dog. Bali, magiging lima lang po sila. Lima ang, nakati ang mag magiging nasa ISS pag pumasok na sila Bob at Dog. Ah, ang purpose ng mga bitbit -bit nila na staff toy, yun po ay parang um, palatandaan na narating na nila ang space, ang microgravity. Kasi pag 
nasa microgravity na sila, ibig sabihin lulutang na yung mga stuffed toys. Ayan, pag nakita natin na lumulutang na sila, ibig sabihin narating na nila ang microgravity, ang space, nasa kalawakan na sila. Shout out sa Jensen. Ayan, hindi ko po talaga maihinto yung chat. Kaya, kuminsan hindi ko na, na nababasa yung mga sa shout out. Nakakalito ang chat community. <laughs> May travel pass yung stuff toy. Wala po. <laughs> ah, yung tungkol sa Uh, hindi po ganon akala nyo ang laki ng kita sa YouTube siguro yung mga pag mga millions na yung views ayan, dyan mo palang mararamdaman pero ito po ay kayod talaga sino yun? MLK Teka, sandali Make Love TV 0707 Ma Madam, babad sa live mo tiba-tiba ka na naman mukhang pera ka mm. don't judge no? wag po kayong maghuhusga para kung ayaw nyo ring mas mahusgahan dahil ito po ay kung tutuusin uh, napaka kaunti lang po nang kikitain ko sa live no? hindi po ganon uh, sana po ay wag kayong ganyan magsalita So, ito po talaga ay kung gugustuhin ko, mas masarap nga po yung uh, hindi ako nagsasalita. Pero, para po sa inyo at dun sa mga talagang subscribers ko na nag-request, uh, kaya lang po ako nandito. Para makasama ko kayo. Another handover of uh, communication from the tracking and data relay satellites providing video and audio communication from the International Space Station now integrated uh, with the Dragon uh, Dragon Power. Still looking towards some of those hard line communication checks. Again, we'll lose uh, communication intermittently as the International Space Station flies 269 statute miles. Station Houston on two for Chris. We're go for open on the node two forward hatch. And Jerry Abbas, marami pong salamat sa inyong uh, pag-defend sa akin. Ayan. Okay lang po yon, Naiintindihan natin sila. Kaya nga po nag-explain ako. Baka hindi rin po niya alam kung ano talaga yung, kung paano ang magtrabaho sa YouTube. What if lumabas sila sa ISS na walang suot na spacesuit? Hmm. You mean sa space po? Hindi po pwede kasi wala pong oxygen doon. Regaining some of that uh, video from International Space Station, Chris Cassidy given the go to open that node 2 forward hatch. Again, he opened it a little bit earlier today. Medyo matagal po talaga ibuksan uh, niyan dahil marami silang sinikset. Ayan na, binubukas na. Now again, it's there's a uh, few more hatches uh, to open until we uh, are able to welcome Bob and Doug aboard the International Space Station. You're looking through the hatch into the pressurized mating adapter. Uh, there's another hatch down there uh, through the pressurized mating adapter uh, that opens up to the International Docking Adapter. Houston at three. Hey Josh, the uh, no, there was zero. Uh, Zero on DPDT, and the no two forward hatch is open. Okay, Dan Alarde. 
Pagpunta ng sasakyan, yung mga astronauts ba yung nagkocontrol papunta sa ISS? Um, automated po lahat actually. Kaya pong it, uh, ng Crew Dragon na siya lang mag-isa yung nagkocontrol, kumbaga nakaprogram na sa spacecraft. Pero, pwede pong i-override ng mga astronauts yung control. Pwede sila ang mag-control just in case na may mangyaring emergency. Kailangan may kakayahan sila, may kapabilidad yung spacecraft na i-override. Posible po ba ang hyper jump? Um, you mean yung dito po sa ISS? Uh, weightless kasi sila, kasi sila, no? So, kahit gaano kataas ka siguro ang tumalon, pwede parang lumilipad. Erwin Martin, hello po sa inyo sa May Kawayan, Bulacan. <laughs> Bakit may aso? Sa kapitbahay po yung aso. <laughs> Thank you po, Pyo, P-Y-O. Salamat po. Ayan, Mark Avila. Anong bansa ang may-ari ng ISS? Marami pong bansa ang um, magkakatulong kasi na nagpapatakbo ng ISS. Hindi lang po ang US, pati yung Russia, ang Canada. Ayan, marami po. Ang mga European countries. na mong problema na ba si Chris Cassidy? Hindi. Sanay na po sila dyan. Alam na nila yung gagawin nila. Wormhole content. Nabanggit ko po yung wormhole dun sa ating nawawalang tren uh, na video. Sana po mapanood nyo yun. Kasi diniscuss ko po doon yung time travel, kung anong posibilidad na, na, totoo, na maging totoo ang time travel. Dragon on Dragon to Ground for 4.012. We've uh, completed uh, up to Section 5 and we've got a timer start. Bobby completed through Section 5 and your suits are drying and you have started a timer for one hour. With that, do we have your permission to come back on board? Give you, uh, get you back on board. We copy. We are go to come back on board. And with that, you are go to perform sections one through three of four decimal four hundred. We do recommend deferring your step two Mark to Douglas one Gora, for the God bless you too, Paul. closer to hatch opening. In section three. As you are Arnold, performing your inventory, no, no. please collect Ayan. all your food and water bottle trash. Parang napakaraming nito. Ilan po ang nakatira na tao sa ISS? Sa ngayon po ay mayroong tatlo. 
Tapos dadating sila Bob at Doug Hurley, so magiging lima na po sila. And do note that you are welcome to defer this inventory until after you eat your meal that is scheduled for right about now. Okay, Anna, um, if you could uh, give us five minutes before you could, uh, come back on board, uh, we do have some clothing config to uh, complete. Understand we've got to go for... Okay, Jason, sorry, Te. Um, Inexplain ko po kanina, siguro wala pa kayo. Ang docking po ay parang pagdaong. So, ang nangyayari dito, kumonekta, kumokonekta ang Crew Dragon or ang spaceship sa International Space Station para makapasok po ang mga astronauts na sila Bob Benken at Doug Hurley. Ayan. Wala po siyang konekta sa Mars. Uh, ito po ay para dito lang sa pangyayaring ito na pagpunta ni Labab at, at Doug sa International Space Station. Uh, Jerry Maya Vacunawa, shout out po kay Nanay Christy Vacunawa. Ayan, hello po, salamat sa inyong panonood. Kusinerong Bisaya, welcome po. This is Mission Control Houston. You're listening to crews on board the International Space Station and Dragon prepare for opening the hatch. You're seeing Chris Cassidy aboard the International Space Station already open the hatch to the pressurized mating adapter just below that hatchway. You see at the center of the screen here, the other side of the hatch is the hatchway. Um, ito po ay inaassume ko lang, no? hindi ko, an, hindi the, uh, ko talaga uh, nakuha sa research, pero I assume na hindi Best po dahil kontrolado po nila ang temperatura sa loob ng ISS. Shout out iba la Rosa family. Uh, because of the temperature difference in the uh, vestibule, just take some time to stabilize. Houston, it's Houston. sure. Uh, uh, shout out to all of you in Houston, Texas. Gumagalaw ba ang ISS? Yes po. Tama. Napakabilis, no? Shout out to Paxson family from Cavite. Mukhang malapit na, malapit na si uh, Commander Chris Cassidy na mabuksan ng hatch nila Bob at Doug. Again, for the question na malakas po ba ang internet sa ISS? Yes po, malakas dahil nakakakonekta sila dito sa atin. Nakikita natin ang nangyayari sa kanila at napapanood natin sila. That means malakas. Lahat ba ng tao sa ISS puro lalaki? Hindi po. Um, ngayon, opo. Uh, puro lalaki sila. Pero may mga pagkakataon po. Uh, like yung nakaraan, si Jessica Mir ay uh, galing sa nakaraang expedition. Expedition 62 atas siya. Bago yung uh, batch ngayon nila Chris Cassidy. Um, babae po yun, si Jessica Mir bago, bago siya, nandun din po si Christina Cook uh, babae rin po, marami po na mga astronauts na babae na nakarating na po sa International Space Station Balasa and Onsenko family, hello po yeah, 
United Station, Houston, on two. Anatoly, we hear you loud and clear. Um, we're going to swap a couple minor things here and try Dragon again. We're just still trying to get calm with Dragon. Stand by one. Dragon again. Dragon is saying, we check how we read this counting. One, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five. And station Houston on two. Everybody uh, will just stand by for a few minutes. We're going to try to raise Dragon by another means. Stand by. An Endeavor, it's Houston calling on Dragon to ground one. We're trying to reach you via hard line. Just not sure if you're, if you're receiving it or not. Uh, let us know at your convenience. Houston from uh, Endeavor. Uh, we're hearing quite a bit of echo on the other loop that appears to be connected. Um, it's unintelligible, uh, but we do have you loud and clear on the Dragon to Ground. And Endeavor, Houston on Dragon to Ground, thanks for that. Very helpful. Uh, we'll take a look, and we have you loud and clear on Dragon to Ground as well. So we're going we're gonna to continue to work it and try to give you a call back in the next few minutes on Hardline. Okay, Harry Salvador, ask lang po anong bansa po ang location mismo ng ISS. Ang ISS po ay wala na po mismo sa Earth. Nasa labas na po ito ng Earth. Nasa 400 kilometers sa labas ng Earth. Shout out from Santo Tomas, Batangas City. Ayan, para po sa inyo, Harry Salvador. Paano po sila babalik sa Earth from KJ? Um, yun po yung Crew Dragon din ang gagamitin nila. Um, papasok po sila sa atmosphere ng Earth at pag nakapasok na sila, mayroon po itong mga parachutes na magpapabagal kasi napakabilis po ng takbo nito. So, uh, pagpasok nila sa Earth, uh, a few pababagalin other, uh, po ito ng mga parachutes good, uh, at lalapag sila sa, uh, I think, sa Atlantic uh, Ocean. Ayan, madalas po sa dagat uh, ang pinaglalandingan po uh, sure from outer space. Are intact. Working through that uh, as we count down towards the milestones of Paano po sila hatch? naliligo? Uh, meron din silang bathroom uh, meron din silang shower pero siguro nga hindi naman ganun kadalas kailangan nilang maligo meron silang mga specific hygiene procedures na ginagawa kasi may napanood nga ako na kung paano sila mag shampoo uh, yun kasing tubig doon diba? parang uh, lumulutang rin pero na nako-contain nila at ginagamitan na lang nila ng tela para hindi uh, hindi sumabog Space Dragon on Dragon to Ground Go ahead Yeah, Anna, in uh, section one of 4.400, the tablet state of charge are 66 for Doug's and 32 for mine. Copy, 66 six for Doug, 32 for Bob. And do we have your permission to come back on board with video now? Yeah, go ahead and uh, come on board. We just may have to take it down uh, at some point, as you might imagine, but uh, come on board. Sounds great. Thanks. Station Houston on three for Chris. Your convenience, but just an update on the comm status. Yes, sir. Go ahead. 
Chris, you've probably been able to tell we've run into uh, some minor issues trying to get Hardline established. So we're working that here, and we're going to be reattempting the comm checks as soon as we think we're go. I'll give you a heads up on that. Um, and then regarding stuff, uh, just get ahead. Uh, I was going to pass along to do the teardown um, from steps three and four in the approach monitoring, but I just saw it go gray. So have you done that already? Uh, Hold on just one second. Which one was that? Maybe I fat fingered the wrong procedure. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's subtle. So it's in the execution note for um, Dragon approach monitoring. As we were m monitoring Dragon uh, earlier in the day, and down in the execution note are the teardown steps. I'm here in the cupola right now. I'll take care of it. it it's not gray, but in momentarily will be. Sounds good. Uh, and I'm also hearing on that that we have done on the ground steps one through four, so it's just five and six left for you in that teardown procedure. Mark Christian Pengson, hindi pa po ako tulog. Yan. Meron lang mga tinitignan, chinecheck ang ating live stream. Shout out po sa inyo. Ay, meron nga palang yung kanina, yung hyper jump. I think uh, you actually mean hyperspace, no? Um, tinig ko na rin sa Wikipedia. So, sabi, it's a concept from science fiction relating to super luminal method of travel. Ayan. So, isang konsepto ito, pero pang science fiction, uh, pang science fiction pa muna ito. Panda Gaming. <laughs> Parang yan yung sinabi ni Neil Armstrong no, sa Apollo 11. I am Ron one four zero three. Yung magbubukas na na po ata sa bandang loob. Rush on three. Uh, steps five and six are complete in the teardown. Good night na po. Ayan, matutulog ka na. Good night po. Thanks for that and uh, just about Salamat to hit the button and reattempt the hardline checks with Dragon. Jeremiah Vaconawa. Okay, God bless you too po. Endeavor, Endeavor, it's Joshua, Houston calling via hardline. Voice check, how do you read? Um, yes, 400 kilometers ang layo natin sa ISS. Here's on station, say it again. And station standby Endeavor. This is a call for Endeavor via hardline voice check. How do you read? Danny Franz Cruz. Sige po. Good night. Houston Endeavor, uh, completely unreadable. Yeah, it's uh, skipping pretty badly. Parang hindi natin nahinta yung uh, pagdating nila Bob at Doug. Pinoy Love and Endeavor, music. it's Houston oh, on Dragon to Ground. ground. We heard you oh, reply oh, loud and clear. Understand we're still broken. We're working it. Thanks for the patience. Buzzer. Buzzer ball. Anong oras ang lipad? Naku, nakalipad na po sila at we papasok got you, na po sila uh, sa ISS. Exactly the case. Thanks. Jeremiah. Yes, na-notice ko na po ikaw. God bless you too. Um, Dragon SM, voice check. How do you read me? Count you. 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 2. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 5. Chosen de la Peña. Hello, po. Choven Tabigne. Yes, po. Pero matutulog ka na yata, eh. And station on two for Anatoly. Anatoly, we're hearing you loud and clear in Houston. Actually, we seem to have an issue still with Com 2 Dragon, so we'll just have you stand by. We'll let you know when we're ready to retry. Thanks for your patience. Sa Earth. 
Pag-pointing maneuvers na lang ang kailangan nila para makarating, makabalik sa Earth. Diwata 2, I think yes, nasa orbit pa, pero yung Diwata 1 ay nag-crash na sa Earth, no? Yan po ang satellite ng Pilipinas. Ayan, ang dami pong shout out. Shout out from Jeda KSA. Hi po. Markson and Wilson Jr. Ayan, nagbabasa ako na mas shout out ngayon dahil inaantay natin na makapasok ang mga astronauts na sila Bob, Benkin at Doug Hurley. Mukhang matagal ang kanilang proseso sa pagbubukas ng hatch. The Great Filter. Ayan. Actually, marami pong request na topic na hindi ko pa nagagawan kasi mukhang na-focus tayo dito sa, sa mga space programs. Ayan, naririnig nyo po yung mga aso sa labas. Dapat tatlo sila. Uh, you mean yung mga astronauts po. Si Chris Cassidy lang po ang nasa US segment kasi ng space station. Yung dalawa po ay nasa Russian segment. Sila po ay mga cosmonauts. Pero malamang ay i-welcome din nila sila Bob at Doug. Marlon na bata paano mag apply actually naghahanap ang NASA ngayon ng mga astronauts na pwede nilang i-train so punta po kayo sa website ng NASA at makikita niyo doon kung paano ang mga proseso ang proseso para makapag apply na maging astronaut Dragon on Dragon to Ground for a timeline tag up. Go ahead. Yeah, Anna, we're uh, managing the uh, collection of the used water bottles and other items as well as our meal and uh, just uh, looking to understand Ninja a little bit better Mr. Elon how close we were to uh, hatch <laughs> opening or another quick. timeline milestone. We're kind of running to the end of the tablet here with uh, meal five that started Congrats about, uh, uh, I don't know, 25 minutes ago or so. And so I uh, just wanted to uh, understand how much time we've got um, in front of us. Accomplishment. In Dragon SpaceX, we estimate we are about an hour to Dragon Hatch opening. Shout out from Bohol, Jocan de la Peña. Hello, po. Copy that, Anna. Thanks for uh, those words. It just helps us uh, manage getting things done. Salamat and uh, looks like you guys are on board. Uh, welcome aboard, uh, I guess, the integrated uh, Yo, salamat po now, huh? kasi hindi naman lahat na nakaka-appreciate, diba? Indeed, thank you so diba? much. We're excited to be here. Yung iba ay hindi naman mawawala ang mga haters, bashers, para po dun sa mga uh, nagpapasalamat. Ako po ang nagpapasalamat sa inyo. Yan, si Mark Melgar. Endeavor, Houston calling over hardline for a voice check. How do you read us now? Panda Gaming, kailan ang lift-off ng Perseverance rover? 
July, this July 2020, yan po kasi yung panahon na pinakamalapit ang Earth at Mars. Um, I'm not sure the location of that last call, but uh, hindi still sila quite a bit of a uh, sa, in, uh, sa nitong July 2020, ang susunod na pagkakataon na ay sa 2022. And Endeavor, it's Houston, loud and clear on Dragon to Ground. Um, we heard your response, so we're in the same situation. We're Mark hearing you, Milgar, you're not hearing us. Uh, we have one more troubleshooting item that we're going to put in work now. Uh, so we'll give that a try and then uh, maybe call it for the day. We'll let you know. Elon Musk. <laughs> so Endeavor, I'm copy. Thank you, Houston. Tesla. Tesla and SpaceX. I am Ron1403. Um, hindi po ako pupunta <laughs> mas gusto ko pong manood at uh, mamangha at uh, humanga sa mga astronauts na napakatapang na sumakay sa rocket Anidora Channel makakasama raw po sa Mars hmm Gaano kalayo sa Kuiper Belt? Medyo uh, ang uh, ang Kuiper Belt po ay malayo kasi ang ISS nasa low earth orbit lang siya so malapit lang po ito sa Earth. At ang Kuiper Belt ay nasa dulo na ng ating solar system. Okay, check ko lang po yung stream dahil parang nakatigil siya. on Dragon to Ground 1. We, we're still hearing you 5x5. Five five. Understand it was slightly improved. Uh, were you able to read me at all or is it is it unuseful? Yeah, it was a, a slight improvement, uh, but it's still unintelligible. And Endeavor, almost, Houston on uh, Dragon to Ground 1. We, we're still hearing you 5x5. Five five. Five. Understand it was slightly sort of improved. Out, but that uh, were you able to read it. me at all or is it is it unuseful? Okay, thank you for the feedback. Uh, first time, obviously, and we think we're running into yeah, some interference issues. Yeah, it was a, issues, a slight we'll improvement, uh, but it's still unintelligible. Almost uh, every word. It, there was maybe one nice. word that you could have sort of figured out, but that was about it. Okay, thank you for the feedback. Uh, first time, obviously, and we think we're running into some interference issues, but we'll continue to take a look. 
we copy. Thanks. Okay, so tuloy po ang pagbukas ng hatch. At ayan, nakikita natin sila Bob Benken at Doug Hurley. Naghahanda na sila para makapasok. Nikajo Gamings, maraming maraming salamat po and shout out po sa inyo. Thank you for the super chat. Na-appreciate ko po ng sobra ito. Thank you so much. Padilla Family. Uh, Electronent Pro. Parang nakita rin po tayo kaninang madaling araw. Ano? Salamat po at nandyan pa rin kayo. Shout out po sa Padilla Family. Sa Garinas Creation, ano bang hinihintay nila? Um, yung mabukas po yung hatch, chinecheck po nila lahat, yung pressure para hindi po magka problema. Kasi pag mga ganitong uh, sitwasyon, isang mali nila, pwedeng may sumabog, pwedeng uh, masira ang, ang mga pyesa. So, kailangan maingat na maingat sila. Bauer Family, shout out po sa inyo. Bakit hindi gumawa ng artificial gravity? Marcos Velasco Nikacho Gaming, well thank you again. Salamat po ng marami. I suppose you're from Japan, no? Sa Japan po kayo. Salamat po and regards to everyone in Japan. Cindy TV 08 Bauer Family, hello po Panda Gaming, shout out sa Musk Family <laughs> All about BTS Shout out to you RJ Arts Ako po ang nagpapasalamat sa inyo Thank you nagsasaing po ba sila? Um, hindi na po nila kailangan magluto because yung mga pagkain po nila ay mga ready, ready and ready made. Paano ba yun? Yung mga uh, madalian lang na pagkain. Kagaya ng ating mga packed food dito. Chokan de la de la Peña uh, Josen de la Peña Hi yung anak daw ni Elon Musk <laughs> yes uh, actually no kaka panganak lang ng kanyang girlfriend si Grimes happy birthday Jonel de los Santos from Zoyad Irma Para po sa mga bagong dating na nagtatanong kung nasaan sila, sila po ay nasa International Space Station or ISS. Himig sa Panginoon, ang uwi po nila mga one month hanggang 
three months from now shout out to our uh, Ray J Laco from Seoul Sultan Kudarat <laughs> akala ko sa Seoul Korea South Korea And shout out to Sardinia family. Sa ngayon po ay iniintay pa rin natin na makapasok sila Bob Benken at Doug Hurley sa International Space Station. Nasa proseso po sila ng pagbubukas ng hatch. Ito po yung parang pintuan uh, at yung pagitan ng ISS at ng Crew Dragon. Kailangan ay maging sigurado sila sa bawat proseso na ginagawa nila dahil isang mali lang po nila, posible po na may mangyaring hindi maganda, kagaya po ng pagkasira ng mga piyesa, posible rin po ang pagsabog uh, or mag magkaroon ng depressurization. Ni Calcio Gaming, uh, marami ba silang dalang tubig sa ISS? Nung dati po, uh, meron silang dalang supply, so sinusupply yung tubig. Pero ngayon po, meron na silang sariling proseso para mag-produce ng tubig mismo sa ISS. So, nire-recycle nila yung tubig. Actually, pati yung kanilang... Uh, yung ihi ay nire-recycle din nila parang, para maging malinis na tubig. Ayan, meron po silang pinagdadaan ng proseso at may mga aparatos sila doon na gumagawa nito para uh, magkaroon sila ng mga malinis na tubig para mainom, para po sa paghuhugas ng kamay. Ayan, thank you po ni Kaju Gaming. Shout out to Malenza family. Thank you, Nikaju Gaming. Yeah, it's cool, no? Dun sa ISS, uh, marami silang mga advanced na technology na ginagaw ginagamit doon. RJ Arts, yes po, hanggat kaya natin, um, gagawa tayo ng mga makubuluhang video, especially sa science, sa space, ayan. Ang layunin ko po kasi talaga ay ma-educate ang mga Pilipino, kasi pe, kesa naman puro lang uh, paglalaro ng mga mobile games, video games, or yung iba naman sa politika, medyo bigyan din po natin ng puwang ang science so sa mga ganitong pangyayari, nakaka-inspire nakakamangha so hopefully yung mga kabataan ay uh, makapag-aral din at mas mahilig sa science uh, Pio ang favorite uh, subject ko po ay math <laughs> mathematics ang uh, aking favorite this is Mission uh, Control Houston if you're tuning in to our coverage of Elon Musk and the International uh, Space Station uh, ready to capture control the best room. views of Bob Dutt coming through the hatch and the International Space Station for a short break off from the Space Station side over to Space to Ground NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy International Space Station will be about 10 minutes to perform a series of leak checks setting up for the hatch opening needs to stabilize a series of cameras scattered around uh, ready to capture the just best a views bit, of so Bob's way of coming to stabilize that hatch. Before those we did get confirmation just shortly uh, that, uh, that we did uh, have uh, good uh, 
pressurization of the vestibule. It'll be about 10 minutes uh, to perform a series of leak checks. Again, that uh, pressure needs to stabilize. The thermal conditions uh, make it swing just a little bit, so just waiting for that to stabilize before those leak checks are finalized. Uh, that underway uh, within the next 10 minutes. We do have uh, communications uh, uh, settled uh, in the hardline connection between International Space Station and Dragon. You can see from the inside of Dragon now, the crew uh, doffed or took off their suits, uh, just getting a few things packed up before they eventually open up the hatch after that uh, pressurization okay. is equalized between Space Station and Dragon. Okay, ano oras po kaya sila makakapasok? Um, ang nakita ko po dun sa schedule nila, I think it's two hours para po uh, mabuksan yung hatch. So, kung nag-start tayo ng 10 o'clock, mga 10.30 uh, nakapag-dock. So, approximately mga 12.30 siguro. So, medyo matagal. I hope it's less than that. Shout out po sa Parohinog family. Endeavor, it's Houston calling for a voice check over the big loop. We've retransitioned back to RF, so back to uh, RF. How do you hear us? Jomar Lapira, good night po sa inyo. <laughs> okay po. Salamat sa pagpunta at pa pagsama sa atin dito. Uh, may nagtatanong, anong oras nga ba ang ginagamit nila sa ISS? So, ayan, sa research natin, it, ang ginagamit po nila ay ang Greenwich Mean Time. Ito po yung ginagamit ng mga British. Ito po yung time zone sa, sa Britain. Josen de la Peña, pag nakapasok na po sila Bob at Doug, um, siguro po ang next live natin ay pag yung bumalik na sila sa Earth. So, in between, uh, siguro gagawa na lang tayo ng video, hindi na po live kung anong updates sa ISS. Here's a live look from inside the crew. Dragon, Jericho, you're saying Jericho, Bob Bank God bless and you Doug Hurley, uh, just preparing the kayo. inside of Dragon. They have doffed or taken off their suits. The pressurization between Space Station and Dragon Shout is complete. Shout out to Fabby family. Uh, they just need to perform some leak checks, make sure that uh, pressure is stable before wow, they actually open the hatch. Wow, talaga magamit po silang telescope. Teams working together on the ground, International Space Station Flight Control Room and the Flight Control Room in Hawthorne to get Vincent that big loop communication oh, uh, configured so everyone can hear each other through this process, figure it out a workaround uh, using RF connection. Josh Cortana, thank you, Paul. Marion Tutor, a uh, tutor. Yes po nakapag-dock na po sila. Ito po at nagbubukas na lang sila ng pinto para makapasok po ang mga astronauts.
Anong oras ang sinusunod nila sa ISS? Mark Gerald Javier, Greenwich Mean Time po. GMT po ang sinusunod nila. Jose de la Peña, it's okay po, hindi ka akong magagalit sa'yo. I am Ron1403. Uh, hindi po ako inaantok. <laughs> yung boses ko lang po siguro kasi medyo uh, bumibigay na yung lalamunan ko dahil kani kagabi pa tayo. So, yun. Alam, Mark Cheryl Javier, hindi niya ako narinig. Sabi ko po, Greenwich Mean Time, GMT Time Zone po ang sinusunod nila sa ISS. Yung opa talaga po. <laughs> Ayan. Kuminsan po, kaya hindi ako nakasalita dahil hindi ko po matapos yung binabasa kong message ninyo. <laughs> Aesthetic sad boy. Wala po ba silang pupuntahang planeta? Ayan. Wala po wala po silang pupuntahang planeta ngayon dahil nandun lang po sila sa International Space Station Jericho, Jericho thank you rin po at na-appreciate ninyo Shout out sa family na nag-aabang sa labas uh, na may gamit na telescope no, para makita nila ang ISS. Salgarinos Creation. Thank you po. <laughs> Pero marapit na po ako mapaos. Panda Gaming, okay lang po. Ayan, mauubos na yung boses. Himig sa Panginoon, International Space Station po ang ISS. Ayan, kaya gusto ko po um, talagang gumawa ng mga videos tungkol dito dahil marami po sa mga Pilipino hindi po talaga aware sa kagaya ng tungkol sa ISS uh, or International Space Station, tungkol sa SpaceX, tungkol sa Crew Dragon, sa NASA. So, gusto ko lang po na ma-educate ang mga Pinoy at maging aware sa mga ganito para hindi naman tayo nahuhuli, di ba? So, shout out to Karim from Kuwait. Galing po kay Kiel, Jamil. Mr. Contradox. Opo, nakarating na po sila at binubuksan na lang po nila ang pinto. Uh, naghahanda na po sila Bob at Doug para makapasok sa ISS. Yan, medyo matagal po yung proseso. Sa pagkaalam ko nga po ay mga dalawang oras ito. So ngayon ay 11.51 ah, 11.49 dito sa atin. Magkaiba yung computer. <laughs> Magkaiba yung time ng computer dito. So Siguro po ang target ay mga 12:30. Ah, uh, niyan. Ah. Uh, Costriber, Costriber, tama ba yung pagka-pronounce ko? Uh, ano yung opinion ko sa mga naglalabasa na hindi totoo ang ISS o yung paglutang ng mga tao sa ISS? Uh, nakikita nyo naman po kung anong nangyayari. etong mga pangyayari na ito ay live po mismo na nanggagaling sa ISS at sa Crew Dragon. 
So, kung hindi po sila maniwala doon, kahit nakikita na ng dalawa nilang mata, nasa kanila po yun. So, hindi po natin kontrolado ang isip ng ibang tao. Kaya kung uh, hindi po sila naniniwala, nasa kanila po yun. Hindi po tayo mamimilit, hindi natin sila pipilitin na maniwala. Dahil nakikita naman na nila eh. Jericho, Jericho, pupunta ba si Elon Musk sa Mars? Ang narinig ko po na sinabi niya ay gusto niyang pumunta doon, no? So, pero, siyempre, sisiguraduhin muna niya na ligtas at um, pareho yung, yung starship, yung gagamitin nila na spaceship papuntang Mars, una dapat ligtas, ganun din yung sitwasyon doon. Uh, kailangan ligtas din. This is Mission Control Houston. If you're just joining us, you're getting a look inside the Crew Dragon. That was Bob Bankhead seated uh, on the right side, the pilot seat or the Joint Operations Mission Commander seat for uh, Demo 2. He and uh, Doug Hurley, the commander of the spacecraft, just preparing the uh, uh, inside, putting away some trash. They just doffed their suits. And right now, just waiting uh, for the uh, pressure to equalize between the International Space Station and uh, Bob and Doug. Just two hatches, really, separating them from the inside of the orbiting complex. Aboard International Space Station, Commander Chris Cassidy has been outfitting uh, Node 2. It's the first node. Uh, once you cross over some of the hatchways, there it is. You can see some of the cameras positioned uh, around to capture uh, the crew coming in. Ayan, nakikita niyo po yung mga camera na nakapaligid dito sa um, sa lugar na ito sa International Space Station. Yan pa yung mga kumukuha ng video para makita natin, mapanood natin ang mga nangyayari doon. So, sa mga nagtatanong, really at may camera ba doon, marami pong camera. Uh, at bakit uh, matagal? Kasi inaantay po nila na mag, maging kapareho yung pressure sa Crew Dragon at saka sa International Space Station. Kailangan po kasi magkapareho yung pressure para wala pong maging problema paglipat na ni, ni Bob Benken at saka ni Doug Hurley sa International Space Station. Salamat po, Mark Gerald Javier and Ronald Casas watching from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. God bless you too po. Okay, Anna, we'll start with uh, location 9 from bag 203. We removed three water bottles. Copy. Three bottles removed from bag 203. Could read back from location 10. We removed bottles from each of bag 207, 208, so six water bottles in total. 
in Dragon SpaceX, you were pretty broken on that call, but I think I copied three bottles from each bag, 207 and 208, is that correct? That is a good readback, Anna. I copy. Location 11, one dinner from bag 317, one breakfast from bag 315, and one lunch from bag 316. Yeah, uh, there are several. Uh, I copy one dinner from 317, uh, one breakfast from 315, and one lunch from 316. That was taken has been sent down. That's a good read back. And location 12. One Sorry po, naka off pala yung mic ko. <laughs> Ayan. Sorry, uh, Roger Garcia. Nagsasalita po ako kanina, wala pala akong mic. <laughs> I copy one dinner from 321. Yes, San na ako, Josen de la Peña. Nandito po at hindi lang na on yung mic. Pasensya na po. Ayan, marami po kasi yung kinokontrol dito at kuminsan ay uh, hindi ko na papansin. Brand Masters. Ay, sorry. Uh, Brand Masters videos pala. It's my pleasure po na may hatid ko sa inyo yung mga info na yan sa pamamagitan ng aking mga videos. Paano ang dumi nila? As I've said earlier, meron po silang uh, meron silang CR pero um, may recycling po na ginagawa para don sa mga like, like sa tubig, yung ihi nila nire-recycle nila para pwede rin nilang mainom so pinapalinis po yun sa kanilang mga filters pero yung sa dumi ay ang pagkakaalam ko not sure po, ah, ayan, kailangan ko ulit i-research ito, alam ko itinatapon din sa space pero meron munang recycling na ginagawa Kumbaga, pinoproseso po muna. This is Mission Control Houston. You've seen Chris Cassidy, International Space Station Commander, do much of the setup, but he does have two crew members on board, both Russian cosmonauts. Next to him right now is Ivan Wagner. Ayan, para po sa mga nagyayaya sa, uh, uh, sa live ng NASA. Was, uh, no. on the same yes po, meron namang NASA that, uh, live. At, uh, they're showing the same thing but uh, ang purpose ko lang po dito is for our community para po sama-sama tayong manood at kung minsan ay ine-explain ko sa inyo kung anong nangyayari dahil kung minsan uh, diba, parang mahirap intindihin yung uh, mga Americans na nag announce pero nandun po uh, you're free to choose kung saan nyo po gustong manood Kailan po nagawa ang ISS? Uh, mga 1998 pa po. Pero natirhan po siya ng mga 2000. Salamat po, Josh Cortina. Ayan. Marami pong salamat sa mga nakakaintindi. Kailan sila babalik sa Earth? Ayan, naku, ito ay madalas ko pong sinasagot. Uh, sige, sa, uulitin ko po ulit. Mga, pwede pong one month, pwede pong hanggang mga three months ay bumalik sila. Depende po ito sa um, kalagayan ng Crew Dragon at sa status ng ginagawa nilang panibagong spacecraft na kap uh, panibagong modelo po ng Crew Dragon. Ito po ang Crew 1. Yun po ang sagot ko sa inyo. Diosela Kandawan.
So again, kaya po matagal dahil pinapantay po nila yung pressure ng Crew Dragon at ng International Space Station. Kailangan po magkapareho ang sukat ng pressure ng dalawang uh, space, spacecraft bago po mabuksan ang hatch na namamagitan sa space uh, sa International Space Station at saka sa Crew Dragon. Ayan, dito po ay nakikita nyo yung aking mga pagkabulol, pagkakamali. Uh, pag nagre-record po ako para sa mga videos na ina-upload ko, marami pong cuts yun. Marami po akong uh, takes dahil pag nabulol, pag nagkamali, syempre pwede kong tanggalin, pwede kong i-edit. Pero dito po ay live kaya naririnig nyo yung aking mga pagkabulol. <laughs> Yun pong tatlong naon ng astronaut ay hindi pa po napapalitan kasi nung April pa lang po sila. Usually po kasi ang duration o ang ang haba ang tinatagal nila sa ISS ay mga anim na buwan. So kapapalit pa lang nila nung April. Yung iba pa nga po ay tumatagal ng isang taon, no? Si astronaut Scott Kelly ay tumagal ng isang taon, halos isang taon sa International Space Station dahil gumawa sila ng experiment kasama yung kanyang kakambal na si Mark This Kelly uh, parang pinagkumpara sila si astronaut since, uh, Mark Kelly ay nanatili po dito sa Earth at si astronaut Scott Kelly ay nasa International Space Station pinagkumpara po yung kanilang mga uh, vital signs uh, lahat po ng mga uh, kalagayan nila sa, katil, sa kanilang katawan para Uh, makita kung ano ang epekto ng microgravity o yung matagal na pananatili sa International Space Station. Salamat po, nice, Katol Dagami. Marami pong salamat. Densky TV. Hi po. Ayan. Tama yung explanation ni Densky TV. Salamat po. John Ray Anyosa. Mga notifications po yun. Galing din po sa YouTube. Josen de la Peña um, may astronaut yun nga po yung uh, tinitignan din po kasi nila yung tungkol sa twins dahil kambal po si Mark at saka Scott Kelly so pinagkumpara po uh, dahil po sa time dilation ayan, inexplain ko po to dun sa isa kong video so kung susumahin po uh, parang mas bata si Scott Kelly na nasa ISS ng mga wala pa namang isang segundo. <laughs> Jericho, sige po. Thank you for coming and God bless you. So we are 523, 530 right now. Salamat po sa inyong pagdating for all those who have just arrived and welcome po sa inyo. Nung nag-live po kami ng madaling araw, iniisip ko naman po halos walang pupunta or walang uh, manonood. So, sa akin po, uh, kung sino lang ang nandiyan, isip ko mga sampu lang kami, pero ang dami rin pong dumating, so nagpapasalamat po ako sa inyo. 
The Dragon Crew continuing to uh, Correct po, buzzer ball dahil sa space time. Patch. Chris Cassidy on the other side just preparing uh, some of the camera views, making sure everything's set there Mart even Neri. a little bit ahead of time. Mark Neri Vlog, matutulog ka na. Shout out po sa iyo. Sige, uh, sweet dreams. Space Station, some of those checks underway next. Ayan. Pagpasensyahan niyo po ako kung hindi ko sinasagot yung mga personal na katanungan. Hindi pa po kasi ako handa na uh, sumagot sa mga ganyan. So, medyo privado po akong tao na uh, hindi po sanay sa mga tungkol sa mga parang celebrity na questions. So, in time po siguro, masasagot natin yung mga yan. Christopher, pa, uh, Christopher Pancho, meron po, kanina po ay pinakita sila Bob at Doug na nasa loob ng Crew Dragon. Meron pa nga po silang tour kanina na ipinalabas ko rin. Pinakita nila yung kaloob-looba ng Crew Dragon at nag-flip nag pa nga po si Bob Benkin. So, mamaya po makikita nyo ulit siguro. Si Yan, yes, umabot nga tayo ng 1K, no? Kahit madaling araw yon kasi talaga namang napakaganda ng pangyayaring yon ng pag-lift off ng Falcon 9 rocket at ang Crew Dragon. Ayan, teka lang. Sa, may nagsabi na nilagpasan ko raw yung, ka, yung comment. Kasi po, mag, pag uh, bumababa po yung comment, hindi ko po na, nababasa ng kompleto. Roger Garcia, ayan, binalikan ko po yung comment nyo. Teka, asan yung nauna? Pero hindi ko na po makita yung nauna. Sorry. Ronald Santa Maria, hi po. Kiel Janiel, na notice ko na po. Yes, exciting kasi kagabi, no? Ngayon, medyo mabagal yung mga pangyayari, eh. Kaya, siguro naiinip yung iba. Tantan Legaspi. Yes, salamat po sa inyo. Alam nyo, yung pinaka natutuwa talaga ako na mabasang mga comments pag yung sinasabi nila na may natututunan sila na dahil dun sa videos nalaman nila yung tungkol sa space yun, parang yun talaga yung fulfillment ko yes, Josh Curitana yes, patience lang kanina mukha uh, halos magpaalam na rin ako kanina kasi akala ko matagal pa so dire direction naman pala yung kanilang live stream at yung um, parang malapit na rin na mabuksan yung hatch no yun kasi yung pinakaaabangan ko rin eh so why Dixie Again, 624. Shout out po Space from Station. Japan. Uh, Yan, parang marami tayong mga kababayan na nasa Japan na nanonood, no? Continuing to get some of those uh, cameras uh, Jeff Floyd Escudero. Natutulog, syempre po, natutulog sila. Meron silang mga sleeping quarters. Pero kasi sa, sa ISS, parang wala namang uh, kung pahiga o patayo. Parang yung orientation nila is 
uh, kahit paano no But hindi nila nararamdaman kung kung ano yung patayo or or nakabaliktad ba sila so yung sleeping quarters nila parang isang ano lang eh isang napakaliit na space pero nakakatulog po sila at saka ganun din po yung mga astronauts na nasa Crew Dragon binigyan din po sila ng oras na actually mga 8 hours yata nakatulog sila sa dun sa Crew Dragon flowing from the Good morning, Space Station shout out to the Custodio Dragon, family from Palmdale, California. Wow, nasa sa Palmdale and uh, yet you're you're uh, watching good, uh, with us here. Transmission. Salamat po ng marami. And of course, uh, the teams here on the ground both here in Houston and in Hawthorne Trump shooting some of the Peña communication. Yeah, talaga po, sure hindi ko po nararamdaman go, na may lumilindol daw. Baka, ano, uh, hindi naman. <laughs> International Space Station and Dragon brought up to uh, the same pressure, 14.7, the same we would uh, find here on Earth. Ayan, di po ba kailangan uh, nila ng oxygen uh, sa ISS? Like yes the, po, uh, syempre po, meron din, din silang supply ng oxygen. Between the two vehicles. At, Uh, yun nga po, uh, may mga proseso silang ginagawa the para maihiwalay nila yung hydrogen, oxygen, uh, at mapagsama po nila ulit, ma magawa pong tubig. Yan, yung mga nag-aral ng chemistry, baka alam nyo yan. Diba, ang, ang tubig ay H2O. So, two parts of hydrogen and one part of oxygen. It's okay po, Jose de la Peña. Nice ka, Tol. Uh, hindi po ako naglalaro ng ML. <laughs> Ayan. Kasi, yun lang pong paggawa ng video. School lang na po yung oras. Pa shout out po sa wife from Taiwan, Jenny Katimbang okay, from Roger Garcia. Hello po sa wife nyo si uh, Ma'am Jenny. J.S. Villarara. Good evening po. Actually, good morning na pala. Magandang umaga po sa inyo. It's already 12. 12, no? So, inabot na naman po tayo ng umaga. After nito ay magbawi po tayo ng tulog. Yes po, nice ka tol. Siyempre, pag nababasa ko po, ayan, ibabanggitin ko po. Kuminsan po kasi uh, masyadong mabilis yung pag-akyat ng chat. So, hindi ko po nababasa. Hindi ko po mahabol. Christian Paul Amandoron. Shout out po sa inyo. Josh Kurt, Kurtan ay sorry po ah ayan teka lang ayun Kuritana lagi ko pa nakakalimutan Josh Kuritana yes pinaka exciting moment pag ni welcome na sila ba? Diba? kaya nga po yun ang iniintay ko sana eh Renan Miranda ayan shout out po sa inyo Sinalin, nalalaman po ba nila kung masama ang panahon dito sa Earth? Yes po, nalalaman nila kung minsan sa kanila pa nga nang gagaling yung ano eh, yung yung uh, status ng panahon. Um, ang advice ko po sa inyo, magtingin po kayo ng mga videos ng NASA. 
At marami po kayong matututunan. Meron silang uh, everyday, 24 hours na live streaming na nang, minsan ang pinapakita nila yung galing sa ISS. Mga views from, uh, from the ISS na tinitingnan yung Earth sa baba. Ang ganda po talaga. So nakikita rin nila doon kung may, may bagyo. May video sila ng ganun eh. Na pinakita nila yung itsura ng bagyo mismo. So punta lang po kayo sa channel, sa YouTube channel ng NASA. Ayun. Yung ano kasi, di ba? Kuminsan kasi yung mga flat earthers nga. Ayo nilang maniwala sa NASA. Sabi nila masama ang NASA. Meron pang mga uh, ano ba yun? Yung serpent stang na nasa logo raw. At yung ibig sabihin daw ng word na NASA ay to deceive. So, hindi po yun totoo dahil ang ibig sabihin po ng NASA is to lift, to lift up, to carry. Ayan, isa po itong Hebrew word. Pero alam naman natin na ang NASA ay hindi isang salita lang. Ito po ay binubuo ng apat na salita. National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Ayan. So, sana po ay mawala ang mga pagdududang ganon from the flat earthers. Hi Christian Paul Amandoron from Marivelas, Bataan. Dragon copy, Houston, thanks. Tama po kayo, Jaffa Lloyd Escudero. Pero kung ano man po yung paniniwala nila, wag natin silang insultuhin or wag tayong magalit sa kanila. Uh, kung kaya natin ipaliwanag sa kanila kung ano yung tama, gawin natin. Pero uh, it's really up to them kung ano po ang paniniwalaan nila. Shout out to Chris Evangelista. Hi po. Nice ka tol. Mahal ko rin po kayong lahat. Roger Garcia, parang mahirap po nilang makita yan kasi napakalaki po ng Earth. At hindi naman po sa buong mundo, di ba, pag merong lindol. So, isang bahagi lang po kung minsan. Mark Piolo, uh, Borse, tama ba? Shout out po sa inyo. Densky TV, salamat po. Salamat po, Jose de la Peña. Bisaya ko, oy. Opo, nakadak na po. <laughs> Ang cute ng name nyo. Cherebe Kakano. Try natin i-back read. Si Rebecca Kanog. Bakit po kayo naiiyak? <laughs> Mark Kale Hipolito. Pag tumigil na po ang operation ng ISS, yes po, babalik po to sa Earth pero scheduled po ang ang pagbagsak nito sa Earth kumbaga nakaplano hindi po ito basta na lang biglang babagsak dahil uh, siyempre delikado po yon so usually pinapabagsak nila sa dagat so para walang masasaktan uh, alam nila kung, kung saang parte ng dagat ito babagsak kung paano sila dumuduming ayan, na-explain ko na po kanina meron po silang bathroom actually, ang 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 nasa po meron din pong uh, video na nag-explain po tungkol dyan no? tungkol sa kanila pong mga uh, kung paano sila nagbabanyo ayan 
throwing it out there because it's different how we, than we normally do PA A shout out to Esteban ng Kuwait from Kiel Chenil. Just to be clear, well, where the configure now is the Note 2 camera is not connected to the encoder as you probably know. Alan, Medel, kailan po sila pupunta ng Mars? Nakaschedule po ang SpaceX ng 2024 na magdadala na ng mga tao sa Mars. Pero 2022, magdadala na po sila ng mga kargamento. Pero depende pa rin po yan eh kung... Uh, gawa na po yung kanilang spaceship na starship Edmar Burgos opo 6 hours lang nakakarating ang Soyuz sa ISS samantalang ang Crew Dragon po ay inabot po sila ng 19 hours pero okay lang po yun pwede pa nila yan pabilisin sa ngayon po kasi ay first time so nagiingat pa po sila ito po ay isang demo mission lang Dem parang demonstration mission lang buzzer ball anong oras po hihinto yung live ang inaantay ko po sana ay ang makapasok sila sila Bob Benken at Doug Hurley TV um, online, so we're talking to them on the phone right now. Stand by one. Sa alam ko po ang target ay mga 12.30. So, intayin po natin. Elect, ay sorry. Electronet Pro, hindi po ba may stock yung tubig sa lalamunan nila kapag uminom? Hindi naman po. Okay naman ang kanilang digestive system. Batang makulit ganda. Shout out sa mga taga San Mateo, Isabella. Uh, Mark Kale Hipolito, paano pag naubusan sila ng pagkain? Um, Station, dapat hindi eh, no? Kasi may supply sila at na, naka, naka-allocate naman kung hanggang kailan yung, yung pagkain na kailangan nila. Ang SpaceX uh, Crew Dragon ay isa rin sa nagsusupply ng, uh, uh, nag-de-deliver ng mga supplies sa ISS. Yan, kasama yan sa kanilang kontrata with NASA. Ayun, Tantan Legaspi, parang yun po, yun yung nasagot, uh, nasagot ko rin yung question nyo. Ang second stage ng Crew Dragon ay yung mismong Crew Dragon, yung, yung sinasakyan ngayon nila Bob Benken at Doug Hurley. Bale, habang nasa ISS sila, yung Crew Dragon ay nandun din sa ISS, nakadock pa rin siya. Yun din yung sasakyan nila pabalik sa Earth na mga 1 to 3 months from now. Alfredo Fabi Jr. Ayan, napansin ko po kayo. Hi po! Roger Garcia, ilan taon na sila sa ISS? Yung pong mga tao ay nagpapalit-palit. Usually, every six months, nagpapalit yung mga astronauts. Uh, nasa Expedition 63 na sila. So, nakailang palit na sila, no? Mga 63 na, na batches na. Pero, nag-umpisang may manirahan sa ISS noong year 2000. Ayan. Nice ka tol. Sige po, salamat at mag, uh, magko-coffee kayo. <laughs> Hindi po ako nagkape ngayon dahil after nito, syempre matutulog naman tayo. This much is clear. This morning, 
um, we moved cameras, uh, that we swapped the cameras that were connected to the encoder. What we want now, we're getting video from the free float camera through the encoder, so that's good. We're seeing it right now. Uh, what we need, just relaying here, is your lapel mic, that has to go through that new free float camera. Uh, so that your mic runs, connects to the free float camera, and then that audio comes down through the encoder. Does that make sense? That's how that's the config. It's in right now, and that's all perfect. The uh, the only benefit, I guess, I, I, I didn't initially make it clear, is is if I switch back to the normal cable and the normal camera, we're not dependent on a uh, battery power on the camera. I just am worried that. Roger Garcia, yes uh, po. During six out. months, meron pong lumilipad na rocket. Uh, usually from Russia, dahil sa matagal na panahon po, yun lang ang nasasakyan ng mga astronauts, yung Soyuz ng Russia. Kaya napakamakasaysayan po nitong uh, SpaceX Crew Dragon uh, Demo 2 dahil for the first time after almost one decade, ay meron na ulit sasakyan ang mga astronauts from the US. What I'll do is I'll just I have got a couple batteries on standby and I'll just make sure there's a fresh battery. Nice katol. Wow, nagising ka ulit ha. Okay, Chris. Sorry it took so long but I'm 100% Ah, parang Zesto. You mean yung sachet po ng Zesto. Yes, ganun nga yung lalagyan ng tubig nila. Tama kayo. We would like to run it in the config that it's in right now. Uh, we copy all on the battery config. Great idea to Lucas have a few Roa, spares nearby. Um, wala we po. Kaya ingat na ingat sila Bob at Doug Hurley. Si Bob okay, Duncan okay. at Doug Hurley. Na hindi po sila mag magkaroon ng sakit. Ingat na ingat sila. Nag-quarantine sila ng matagal na panahon. Para and po hindi nila madala. Wala silang uh, madalang virus sa ISS. You have a go when able for your 1615 activity. 1615. That's your go for steps three and four in two decimal one or two. Mabilis po ba ang takbo ng ISS? Yes po na pagkabili. Um, seven point sixty six kilometers per second. So naku. Ganon kabilis. Imagine mo, isang kilometro ng alang, di ba? One kilometer per second. Mabilis na ito po ay seven point sixty six kilometers per second. Gary Jr. Ramento, yes po, live po ito. Kaya inaantay po natin na makapasok ang mga astronauts sa ISS. John Elmer Garcia, hindi pa nga po, hindi pa sila nakakapasok. Buzzer ball, sobrang sobrang bilis po. <laughs> Kaya nga po, um, sa loob ng 90 minutes, naiikot na nila yung buong Earth. Ganun kabilis. Gary Jr. Ramento. Ayan, hindi po kita inisnob. Ako uh, medyo minsan hindi ko po makita talaga yung messages. Lucas Roa, meron po silang CR sa ISS. Ayan, para po sa mga personal na katanungan, sabi ko nga po, uh, hindi ko po muna sasagutin yan. Uh, Sammy Whitey, 90, 90 minutes po. Ryan Sangkula, shout out from Zamboanga City. Si Nani, bakit po palagi nawawala ng signal yung drone ship pag naglalanding yung Falcon 9? Magandang katanungan yan. Ibig sabihin po talagang updated kayo at nanonood na kayo ng mga 
videos ng SpaceX and gustong gusto ko po yung ganyan. Ang sa pagkakaalam ko po, kasi malakas masyado yung vibration ng, uh, kasi pag magla-landing, nandun yung camera, so naaapektuhan siya ng vibration na nanggagaling sa rocket habang nagla-landing. So nawawala po yung signal. This is Mission Control Houston. You're looking at the inside of the International Space Station. What you were hearing before were just some of the uh, audio and video checks, just making sure that everything's synced up so that we get the best views and the best audio possible for when Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley come through that hatch. We're working towards the hatch opening now. You can see uh, Chris Cassidy down the pressurized mating adapter. That hatch uh, will open up to the international docking adapter. On the other side is the dragon hatch. Cassidy working through those procedures uh, after pressure equalization was complete. Uh, now expecting uh, around the order of 10 to 15 minutes, maybe, until we uh, finally get that hatch open. So we'll stand by, keep those views uh, coming from the inside of the International Space Station to welcome Bob and Doug aboard. Ayan, nandito pa po ako. Medyo uminom lang po ng tubig. Ayan, chosen de la Peña. Ano po ba yung space race? Uh, ito po yung parang pagalingan ba ng mga bansa tungkol sa pag-explore uh, sa space. So, nangyari po ito nung unang panahon pa, mga 1960s, 50s, yan, nung may Cold War pa between US and Russia. Meron po akong video na ginawa tungkol doon. So, sana po mapanood nyo. Ayan, nawala sila. Buzzer ball, narinig nyo po. Meron nga pong pusa. Ayan. Meron po akong pusa, si Monster. Boss Dexter, pusa po. <laughs> Ayan, meron kayong isang nalaman tungkol sa akin. Meron po akong pusa. Ang pangalan niya ay si Monster. Jason Marilliano. Kayo po, ano po ba sa tingin nyo? Regine Estrellado. Um, yung pusa po dito ay may buntot at may whiskers, may balahibo. <laughs> Kaya, totoo po siyang pusa. <laughs> Joey Season, wala po, wala po sa ISS, nandito lang po sa bahay, katabi ko yung team led by flight director Scoville is working through the intricate process of making Gary sure Jr. everything Ramento. is ready to open the hatch Actually, and welcome Bob Bacon and Doug Hurley aboard so the International you, Lord, Space Station. Thank you, Lord, dahil binibigyan niya po ako ng lakas. 
It's been a journey so far to get to this point more than two hours ago. Made contact and capture with the International Space Station was the Dragon vehicle, the Crew Dragon vehicle, with uh, Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley aboard. 9:16 a.m. Central, 10:16 a.m. Eastern. Dragon uh, FM, voice check. How do you read me? Counter. One two one. One two two. One two three. One two four. One two five. You know, astronaut, not si Chino Rocky. Here. And then give you go to come back on board. Shepo Bayon. In Dragon SpaceX, you were pretty broken in that previous call. Here some stations with the ground too. I don't hear Dragon. I think you're being summoned by the Russian crew. Chan Ray Quebec. Pa shout out para sa pusa. Sino po mahilig sa pusa? Ayan, magkakasundo po tayo. In Dragon SpaceX, I was told to proceed with you. Can you please repeat your last? Yeah, Hi, Breed na pusa. Ito po ay isang pusang Pinoy. Puspin. Still good on that uh, estimated Pinoy na Pinoy timer po yung that you gave us ako. for 30 minutes. Looks like we've got about 10 minutes left. So we'd like to pick up in section 2 of 4.400. Checking. This is Mission Control Houston. Chris Cassidy opens the hatch to the International Ayan Docking na. Adapter. Ayan na, binubuksan na po ang, Central Time ang hatch. Station and Dragon flying uh, together. 267 statute miles over the South Pacific. This is a view from the camera at the forward end of Dragon. One minute until Dragon hatch open and the APAS hatch was just opened. Jairus Bongaling, shout out po from Davao. Ayan, sino po yung nagsabi tungkol kay Chino Roque? Maganda po. Um, thank you the, for uh, that information. To the international docking that there so was. yes, siya ay isang Pilipino uh, astronaut. No? Siya lang ang uh, napili ng Axe Apollo Cassidy, Space Academy. Expected time to open that hatch so is about 20 minutes from now. Score links. We'll report that time to you and expect to do a welcome ceremony at 12.15 a.m. Central Time. 1.15 p.m. Eastern. Naku, 1.15 p.m. pa pa, ay, 1.15 a.m. sa atin. Noon pa lang yung welcome ceremony. We'll get to hear some words from Ian them and uh, some VIPs Ayan, here in Michigan Patrol po. Houston to provide words to the teams uh, that oversaw the entire mission and the crew yes, of the boss International Dexter, Space Station. No? Sulit ang mga puyat natin. Station Houston, we copy the hatch open. No kind Sherwin Bagaforo from Buzzer Ball. Ayan. Kawawa naman po si Monster. Dragon, Hindi ko pa napakain. Kuli. Ano ang magiging impact ng mission sa panahon natin ngayon? Parang magbubukas siya ng maraming pintuan sa space exploration. We'll put section two Kasi meron na naman silang bagong spacecraft na napatunayan na kayang bumiyahe sa space, kayang makapunta sa International Space Station. At syempre, um, ma-inspire ang mga kabataan ang kapanahunan natin ngayon kasi di ba matagal na na walang ganito eh. Kaya yung generation ngayon hindi na nasaksihan yung uh, dating nangyari sa Apollo at saka sa mga shuttle missions. Pero para malaman natin yung mga ganun, manood tayo, meron namang mga, mga videos uh, ng mga 
dating launches sa Apollo at sa shuttle mission, uh, shuttle, uh, space shuttle, sorry. At least ito, nakikita natin na live, alam natin na nangyayari, Chris na Cassidy, nangyayari na siya ngayon. Tagli family from RJ uh, Arts. Yes, God bless. Docking interface. Kim David, Kim David, Team Pusa. Uy, maganda yun, ah. parang gusto ko yan. Ah. Kasi di ba yung mga uh, YouTubers, meron silang uh, tawag sa mga subscribers nila. Si Kong TV yata ay kapaa, di ba? Tama ba? Paa. <laughs> mga paa. Ayan. Uh, ano ba yung sa Jamil? So, parang maganda yung mga kapusa, no? <laughs> Team Pusa. Chosen de la Peña, hindi po, yes, sana po, uh, lagi kayong nandyan. Thank you po sa panonood. Hirap na hirap na po si Commander Chris Cassidy. Parang mag-isa lang siya, no? Kawawa naman. Carl, Carlo Lozano, magandang question po yan. Saan sila kumukuha ng supply ng kuryente? Ang lahat po ng kanilang uh, supply ng kuryente ay nagagaling dun sa solar panels kung makikita nyo po ang itsura ng space station ng international space station napakalalaki ng kanilang mga solar panels mga cat cat sabi po ni buzzer ball <laughs> ayan meron na namang isang pusa dun sa may labas Joe de la Peña, yes po, meron silang mga solar panels, napakalalaki. Yan po ang nag-supply. Between the Dragon crew, Chris Cassidy, and on the other side of the uh, International Space Station, the Russian segment, mga kapusa, Russian cosmonaut, bim, bim. Anatoly Ivanishin, completing those uh, voice checks. Diyos, Kuritana, yes, kaya mo yan, Commander. Go! You can see Cassidy uh, continuing <laughs> to outfit the hatch, just clearing the space and uh, providing some padding yes, and removing po, live that live uh, docking target from the APAS hatch. Roger Garcia, come meow. Dragon, go ahead and dragon to ground. Yan. Si Carlo Lozano, yan ang mga nilalagpasan ko pong question. Two more bags were consumed from location 9, bag 204, and that includes the water used for the waste system. Alan Medell, naniniwala ka ba sa Agartha? Hmm. Kung nanood po kayo ng ating Agartha series, malalaman nyo kung ano ang aking pananaw tungkol sa Agartha. <laughs> Kapusa, servisyong totoo. Vince Austria, napatawa mo ako. Negative. Uh, we're gonna need about two minutes. We're just wrapping up ops here right now. Happy two more minutes. We will await your confirmation. Thank you. Still getting views from the uh, infrared camera that's located right at the center of the Dragon Hatch, looking at uh, Chris Cassidy, International Space Station Commander, outfitting that hatch, getting ready uh, for Bob and Doug to arrive. You were hearing uh, communications over Dragon to ground. That was uh, Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley on the other side of that hatch, inside the crew tra Dragon vehicle, finishing up uh, their operations on the inside uh, for that hatch opening expected in about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, parang Again, uh, malapit na malapit na. This point, uh, just about two and a half hours ago. May, ko, may kasama po ba si Commander? Was, uh, Meron pong nandyan sa ISS na kasama niya, pero nandun po sila sa Russian segment. Si Commander Chris Cassidy lang po ang nasa US segment. Sa, um, uh, siya lang po kasi yung taga NASA. Again, we're At mukhang about 10 to 15 ito ang naiatas uh, sa kanya na gawin. One more hatch uh, separating Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley from the inside of the International Space Station still 
uh, looking at Cassidy doing some of the prep work for that hatch. We'll get some great views that Cassidy set up uh, uh, over the past few hours to capture this uh, historic moment today. Be sure to stay tuned in at 12.15 p.m. Central Time, 1.15 p.m. Eastern. We'll start a welcome ceremony, officially welcome, uh, welcoming Bob Bengen and Doug Hurley aboard the International Space Station to join the expedition. Okay, sa China Space Station. Uh, ang, ito po ba yung Changgong 2? Ayan. So, ang tanong niya, an anong mas mataas? Ang ISS po ay nasa mga 400 kilometers. Ang... Changgong 2 ay mas mababa po nasa bandang 369 hanggang 378 kilometers lang. Anna, you're clear to come on board. May communication Copy. po ba sila sa family nila? Nagkita po sila dun sa bago mag lift off. At tingin ko po ay mayroon kasi um, mag madali na ang communication nila. Kaya nga nakakapag-communicate sila sa um, sa control center. At pwede rin po mangyari yun. Awa awaiting uh, Bob and Doug to come aboard. Just behind them you see Anatoly Ivanishin and Ivan Wagner, Russian cosmonauts of, of uh, Expedition 63 standing by. We'll be able to come aboard Dragon here in a sec. Get some views <laughs> from the uh, Crew Dragon. We're in a short handover of uh, those uh, communications from the International Space Station. Video and audio should be regaining them uh, momentarily. Ayan. Actually, kung minsan merong mga questions na hindi ko pa rin po na research so I'm not perfect hindi hindi po ako all knowing um, inaamin ko naman po na hindi naman lubos talaga lahat ay alam ko so I'm more of a researcher mas um, nag -re research po ako kaya yung mga videos po na pinapresent ko is a product of research hindi po dahil alam ko na sila Pero dahil po nag -re research ako at uh, ina-encourage ko rin po kayo na sana kayo rin mag-research para po madagdaga ng inyong mga kaalaman. Jason Ramirez, yes, idol natin si Commander. Nakakatuwa siya, no? Kahit mag-isa lang siya. Pero ito na yung mga kasama niya. Ito na yung mga Russian cosmonauts. And a totally Ivanishin in the foreground there. Chris Cassidy continuing the prep work for opening up the hatch there. Again, uh, the pressurized mating adapter hatch you see there in the foreground is open the a pass hatch to the uh, international docking adapter is open Stephen just one Absin, more and bakit and hindi sila bumalik sa moon ayan meron vehicle. po akong ginawang mahabang video tungkol diyan sana po ay mapanood nyo ayan mahirap po i-explain lahat dito pero yun po maganda po uh, ina-advise ko po na mapanood nyo Bim Bim, Madam Cat. <laughs> Nakakatuwa naman. Madam, any updates sa Starlink? Ayan. Naku, ang dami na nilang naipadala na Starlink satellites, no? Naka-anim na launch na ba sila? Yung huli po ay na-postponed at sinabi po ni Elon Musk na uh, magla-launch ulit sila after na nitong uh, Crew Dragon. Station Houston copies Dragon call ready when you're, when you're able. Yes, CJ Chavez. Finally, dumating na rin yung mga Russian cosmonauts at natutulungan na rin si Commander Chris Cassidy.
Houston Dragon, go ahead. Casey Karaig, may chance na makarating sa ibang solar system. And Dragon Houston, uh, Kung sa may chance, ako naniniwala ako, wala namang imposible. Pero, uh, siguro matagal pa, di ba? Kasi yung sa Mars pa nga lang, uh, mahirap nang marating. Lalo na yung sa ilabas ng solar system. Kim David, meow! Okay, uh, station and endeavor, stand by for equalization. Ayun, We're putting Kim it David, in work. Po. equalization <laughs> time, four minutes. Station copies. John Dexter Tejada. Ayan, mga ka-meow-meow. Kapusa mo, Jessica Soho. <laughs> Alfredo Fabi Jr. I'm sorry, hindi ko po alam ang sagot dyan. Meron, kung meron kayong nabasang tungkol dyan, Ah, uh, that's good. Maganda po na i-share nyo yan. Pero ako, for now, hindi ko po alam ang sagot. Jobs Chopra. Inabot lang po sila ng 19 hours kanina. RG Arts. Wow, Catstronauts. Ang gaganda naman ang mga naiisip nyo na terms. After nito, ang susunod na aabangan. Uh, Siyempre, ah, uh, after ng docking, ito, papasok na sila sa ISS. Then, meron silang welcome ceremony. Pero, after nun, uh, mag na sila sa ISS. Gagawa sila ng mga experiments. Siyempre, minsan, lalabas sila sa video, sa live, at kakausapin nila ang mga tao dito sa Earth. Um, mga 1 to 3 months na ganon. Kaya, hindi mo na natin siguro uh, ilalive yon. Uh, ang susunod natin ay naaabangan talaga ay yung pagbalik na nila sa Earth Patty Jones Good morning mga kamingming Ang gagaling nyo ha Ang gagaling nyo mag-isip ng, ng mga terms Tungkol sa pusa Ayan, <laughs> dahil lang umiyaw yung pusa We're continuing ko. to equalize the pressure of that last hatch Behind that hatch is Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley aboard the Crew Dragon spacecraft We are moments away from opening the hatch and welcoming welcoming them aboard the International Space Station. Greetings from Makat Ay Ano ba yun? <laughs> Kala ko tuloy Makati City. So, siguro yung mga ganon pwedeng tanggalin ng ating moderator. si Karaig, actually meron na pong space agency sa Pilipinas oo, parang uh, mula sa pagkakaupo ni President Duterte ay nagtayo sila ng uh, Philippine Space Agency gusto ko rin po yung gawa ng video so um, coming soon po maganda po yung pag-usapan
So, para po sa mga kapapasok lang, meron bang mga bagong dating? Uh, welcome po sa inyo dito sa ating Madam Info Channel. Kung hindi pa po kayo nag-subscribe, ayan, ngayon ko lang babanggitin to. Uh, I'm inviting you all to subscribe para po um, maging updated kayo sa ating mga videos. Of the hatch opening between the so, International welcome Space po Station sa ating channel. and the Crew Dragon. Nandito po tayo ngayon sa live stream ng pagpasok ng mga astronauts na si Bob Benkin at Doug Hurley sa International Space Station. Inaantay na lang po natin na mabukas yung huling pinto para makapasok sila. Ito po ay parte pa rin ng Crew Dragon Demo 2 Mission ng SpaceX at NASA. Kaya po uh, NASA kasi nasa ilalim There's po ito ng Dragon. commercial crew program ng NASA. Seeing Doug Hurley through the glass on the other side. Yan, nakikita natin bumabali-baliktad na si Bob Benkin. And there's Bob Benkin. At ayun, uh, salamin na lang ang pagitan nila. Mukhang nakikita na sila, no? Good AM, Ray Castro. Good morning po. Bakit kaya laging question to? Ilan na sila sa ISS? Uh, bali, lima na sila ngayon. Pagkasama na si Bob at si Doug. Between Crew Dragon and International Space Station just moments away. So, ang target po nila na uh, ma-welcome si Bob at Doug sa International Space Station ay 1.15 AM. So, malapit na. 1.15 AM dito sa Philippines. So, sa, sa US, sa eastern part ng US, 1.15 PM sa kanila. Stellar Evolution, uh, nabanggit ko po yan sa ating black hole serie. I think it's part 2. Pero hindi po uh, buo. Parang isang part lang ng video. Kasi kung paano nabubuo yung Dragon black SpaceX hole, may connection po siya sa, sa stars. Followed by the remaining actions in your procedure. RG Arts, yes 400. po, magpapahinga ako after this. Salamat po. Kayo rin po, stay safe. Kepler 186F from Carlo Lozano. Nice suggestion po. Josh Kuritana, yes, no, malapit na dahil salamin na lang ang pagitan. Good morning, Priscilla Chabion. Good morning po, Carla Bautista. Brightest stars, o oh, kung paano, saan galing? Yes, M mga interesting topics po yan. Mm -hmm. 
Bancho King, shout out from KSA. Chosen de la Peña, bakit walang babae? Sa, sa batch po na ito, wala. Pero yung nakaraang batch, meron. Ayan. And with that, the Thank hatch you, is open 12.02 p.m. Central Time, 1.02 p.m. Eastern. Mark Lester Laron, hi. And Doug Hurley tayo. open the hatch to the International Nasa Space Kepler Station after launching ngayon. from American soil on a U.S. vehicle for the first time in nine years. The first time ever for a commercially built spacecraft. Wilvin Belle. Gising ka na? Wow. <laughs> Edgardo de los Reyes, good morning and shout out po sa inyo. Catstronauts, wow, RJ Arts. Raisin the what? Raisin the ah the great sorry ah Raisin the great. Ayan wakan na po magtampo. Ah hindi ko po pinipile. Nagkakataon yun po ang ah nababasa ko. Kasi umaandar po yung chat de ba pataas. So kuminsan hindi ko pa nababasa lahat. So ah sorry po patawad. Mark Melgar, thank you po sa pag-stay at pag-ipuyat sa akin. International Space Station Commander Chris Cassidy now talking with uh, Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin aboard the Crew Dragon spacecraft. That hatch opened at 12.02 p.m. Central, 1.02 p.m. Eastern. Ayan, 12.02 raw nakapasok. At nabukas ang hatch. SpaceX Dragon on the big loop. The hatch is open. That's Unio Hub. Ayan. I copy. Nakasampung comment ka na po. Naku, pasensya na po at hindi ko nakita. <laughs> Walang pinagkaiba yung bosses ko. In 5.9, we're going to exit out of 4.400 and transition to 2.102 Crew Dragon ISS arrival through the hatch. Frank Abante, ano po kaya yung nakat po? I copy with that. I understand you are complete with 4.400 and we'll follow along with you as you transition to the ISS procedure. Relin Cabansal, nalobat ka na po ba? <laughs> Ayan, pasensya na pag gano'n, hindi ko nababasa. Siguro ako, ako yung lobat, no? Paka nalolobat na. Kailangan ng energy. Astro Cats, Jairus Bongaling. Awit Shong, shout out sa inyo. Hiroki Wada. Hello. Um, ayan, binabanggit ko na lang yung name kasi hindi ko na po mabasa yung message. Mm, ayan, sana yung mabasa ko yung hindi ko pa nababanggit din, no? Kim David, Weird TV, Channel Inbox. Uh, ano na yung nangyayari? So, alam ko na buksan na yung hatch. Uh, sabi ng announcer, nasa 12.02 na buksan ang hatch. The crew of Demo 2 just Performing a few closeout duties. The hatches are open. They were open 12:02 p.m. Central Leo Time. We're moments away from the board. Ah, uh, low bat ka narin. To, to enter uh, the International board. Space Station. Thank you, Paul. Melvin Chrysostomo. Good morning. 
It'll be the first time that Americans the will enter the International Space Station Hans on a rocket Christian. launched from U.S. soil. Yes, I've noticed you. Built by an American company, the first time ever. John Ryan Americans Quebec. Americans will enter from a commercially um. built spacecraft. Intro ng live. <laughs> Ayan, pag meron pong uh, mahabang message na maraming emojis, nawawala yung, yung ibang messages. Hi, monster. Robert Handro Morales, um, tignan nyo po yung mga nauna nating live streams, uh, yung na nauna nating mga videos makikita nyo po kung paano sila nakarating sa ISS. Station Houston on Space Around 2 for Chris. Uh, when you're able, we're just looking for a quick voice check on the mic. Ah, yung stage 1 at stage 2. Yes, naghihiwalay po kasi ang stage 1 po Yun po yung rocket, yung Falcon 9. Uh, ito po yung nagdadala, yung uh, nagtutulak sa spacecraft papuntang orbit. Ito yung may mas malakas na power para makapag-lift off. So, yun yung stage 1. Ang stage 2 ay yung Crew Dragon, kung saan nakasakay si Bob Benken at saka si Doug Hurley. So, kung makikita nyo yung ating lift off video, Ang Crew Dragon nakapatong sa Falcon 9. So pagdating sa uh, sa isang sa taas na naka uh, tinarget nila. So maghihiwala yung dalawa kasi babalik sa Earth yung stage 1. Yung first stage yun po yung Falcon 9. At yung Crew Dragon naman tutuloy na sa orbit papuntang International Space Station. At saka yung, ay ah, yung engine cut off siguro, yung sinasabi niya. Yes, kasi minsan pinapatay na nila yung engine para hindi gumamit ng masyadong maraming uh, propellant or yung fuel. If you're just tuning in, you're getting a live look. Station Houston on two, uh, two things. Chris, we did hear you over the PAO side of things. That was a good voice check. We might ask you for one more. And then uh, for the Dragon crew, you also have a go for 6.3. That's opening the location 2.3 and checking for debris. Dragon copies 6.3 and work. If you're just tuning in, you're getting a live look. On the left of your screen is a look inside the Crew Dragon on the Demo 2 mission. On the right, the International Space Station. Houston, Bob Bacon. Dragon on the big loop. We are ready for 6.4. Uh, and section 4 of the LIO instructions.
and station we copy. Dragon Crew, you are go at 6.4. In work. This is Mission Control Houston. You're getting a live look at the inside of the International Space Station, losing video communication from the International Space Station. It will only be momentary. We'll have those views back to see Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley enter the International Space Station. And back for when they do, it'll be the first time that humans will enter th through this hatch for the first time in nine years. Ayan, akala nila nakatulog na ako. Hindi po. <laughs> Bakit ang tagal nila makapasok? Kasi po, yun nga, uh, ginagawa nilang pantay yung pressure sa, uh, sa ISS at saka dun sa Crew Dragon. Ayan, nakikita na sila sa pamamagitan ng isang salamin. <laughs> Joseph Vivas. Wow, good evening. Ay, good morning. <laughs> Your show. Pwede bang si Monster yung moderator? Asa na siya? Ako bumaba. Chris, when convenient, PA will request an additional voice check through the mic. Relin Cabansal. Midnight snack. Patty Jones. Uh, good night po. Uh, good morning. <laughs> Okay, so it's 1.13 at ang target nila na ma-welcome si Bob at Doug ay 1.15, so that's two minutes away. So, intayin na natin, no? Alfredo Fabi Jr. na taga Andromeda Galaxy. Antok na kayo. And Darius Mort Montion from Cheddar. Chris PA is working calm. Reconfig, I'll call you if we're ready for another check. Chosen de la Pena. Sure po. Okay lang po. Carl Vincent, Tabud Long TV, shout out to you. And Siljan Rezote, shout out to you. Si Monster po ay bumaba. Hindi ko na siya katabi.
Okay, 114. Nakikita yung nakikita ko yung dinosaur na dala nila no na lumulutang. <laughs> Station Houston on two for Chris. We wanted you to confirm that the mic is in channel one. It needs to be in channel one. A thought here is that it could have been bumped over to two. Ayan na hawak na po ni Commander Chris Cassidy yung microphone. Mukang, eto na yung welcome ceremony. So, uh, meron pa tayong 456 tayo ngayon, no? 455 watching now. And Chris, we see you trying. We're still not here in the MCC. We're working on it. Buti pa yung dino nakasabay. Oo nga. Zildjian Resorte, salamat po. Patty Jones, sige po, kain ka muna. Von Channel, shout out po sa'yo. Renato Karandang, na naaantok na siya. Chris, Good morning, uh, night. MCC, we see you trying. Uh, yeah, the no word here is that as long Sorry. as that is in channel one, uh, any problems past that point are on our end, so we're looking into it. We'll be right back to you. Ayan, nabuhay yung chat ulit daw sa mga pa-shout out. So kung pwede lang i-shout out ko lahat yan. Charles Vergara. Uh, thank you RJ Arts sa pagsama sa akin. <laughs> what? Katasot? Yumi. May tanong si Bakit daw si Russia hindi nagla-live? Actually, nagla-live din po sila. Uh, NASA ang nagla-live kasi may mga NASA astronauts din na sumasakay sa Soyuz. Okay, Anna, in uh, 7 decimal 1, it appears that the uh, ABB External from Bravo outside, baka ilagay sa museum yung dinosaur. As well as the PPRV ISO valve. Uh, Jovi Anapi, anong mangyayari pag binuksan ka agad? Pag kasi magkaiba yung pressure, no? Meron mga risk, may mga posibleng mangyari, pwedeng... Uh, masira yung mga pyesa nila or uh, if worst comes to worst pwedeng may sumabog so ingat na ingat sila na hindi mangyari yung mga ganon Sean Acabado. This is Houston. If you're just tuning well, thank in, hatches you were open yes, at 12.02 p.m. Sa Central Time. Salamat we are moments kung away from Bob Bank and Doug thank Hurley you. entering the International Space Station. Josen de la Peña, Dino Cat. Oh, hindi pa makatulog si Josen. Goku Picalo, ang creepy gumagalaw magisa yung dino. Actually po lumulutang yan kaya siya gumagalaw. Again, this is Lumulutang Mission Control Houston moments away from Bob and Doug entering the International Space Station. Shortly after they enter, we will conduct a welcome Mark ceremony La Ron, uh, VIPs here in Mission Control night. Houston Ficker 1. Marthy Manalo, are, uh, I'm sorry in po. Ayan, napansin ko na po. Ayun. SpaceX copies all valves appear closed visually now and arrival configuration complete. Excellent to hear. Ang sabi po nila ay arrival configuration complete so mukhang yun na ang hudyat para makapasok na ang mga astronauts 
si Labab at si Doug. Never copies with pleasure. We'll be there in a second. Janoski April Lego. Ayan, shout out daw sa asawa niya. Para po sa mga nagtatanong ng personal questions, ayan, sabi ko nga kanina, uh, medyo nilalagpasan ko muna yung mga questions na ganyan dahil hindi pa tayo We nakahanda. We have Bob Bankin <laughs> from SpaceX Demo 2 Mission entering the International Space Station. Kamuningning, Megatron 1. Ayan na sila! Wow! Nakita rin sila, oh. Napapanood nyo po ba? Na, nakapasok na si Bob Benken at saka si Doug Hurley sa International Space Station. Vanessa Lego. Ayan, shout out po sa inyo mula sa inyong asawa. Ayan, this is history. Isa po itong makasaysaya na namang event sa space exploration, sa, sa space program ng NASA in cooperation with SpaceX. Uh, so thanks for that. Stand by one. We'll call you when we're, we're ready for the event in the next few seconds. Got a whole bunch of very uh, happy and grateful yes, people making their way into MCC switch. right now. Congratulations, SpaceX Crew Dragon. Yes, thank you, Lord. At nandun na sila. Maganda at uh, uh, lahat ay uh, maganda ang nangyayari. Demo Wala pong aberya. Now aboard the aberia. International Space Station. They entered at 12.22 p.m. Central Time. The station at the time was 262 statute miles over Turkmenistan. So, in the crew all gathered in front of the cameras ceremony. at the node 2 forward end of the International Space Station. Just behind them is the hatchway to the Crew Dragon on this Demo 2 mission. We're standing by for a welcome ceremony. We'll have VIPs here in Mission Control Houston ready to greet the crew. Ryan Lubina, hello po. Densky TV, yes, mukhang nauntog si ano, ano, si Doug Hurley. Ayan. Pagbukas ng hatch. And station, we're just about ready. Stop by. Station, it's Houston on Space Ground 2. Confirm that you are ready for the event. Houston, this station, we are ready for the event. Copy that. And sir, Administrator Bridenstine, welcome to MCC. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is the NASA Administrator. Can you hear me? We hear you loud and clear, sir. Welcome to the space station. Thank you, Chris. It's good to see you. And welcome to Bob and Doug. I, uh, I will tell you, the whole world saw this mission, and we are so, so proud of everything you have done for our country and, in fact, to inspire the world.
We sure appreciate that, sir. It's uh, obviously been our honor to be just a small part of this. Uh, we have to give credit to SpaceX, the commercial crew program, and of course, NASA. It's great to get the United States back in the uh, crewed launch business, and uh, we're just really glad to be on board this uh, magnificent complex. Well, we have some, uh, some VIPs with us here, and I'm, I'm sure they have some questions that they'd like to ask you, but uh, I have one of my own before I turn it over. And I just wanted to, to find out if you guys got any sleep on your way up there the last, uh, I'd say, I get 19 hours. Did you guys get any sleep? Yeah, I think a lot of folks in Hawthorne were asking the same question, sir, but uh, we did get probably a good seven hours or so opportunity for sleep, and uh, I did succeed at sleep, and I dug it as well. So uh, the first night is always a little bit of a challenge, but uh, the Dragon was a, a slick vehicle, and uh, we had good airflow, and so we had an excellent, excellent evening and uh, just excited to be back uh, in low Earth orbit again. Amazing. Well, <clears throat> one of the people that, uh, that is here with us today is um, Senator Ted Cruz, and of course he's a huge advocate of America's space program. And he's been, uh, you know, somebody who has helped us so much as we transition from one administration to the next administration. And the reason missions like this can have success is because of continuity of purpose. Um, and Senator Ted Cruz was a leader on a bill called the American, uh, uh, the NASA Transition Authorization Act. And um, because of that, uh, we have had a lot of political support and we're very grateful for his leadership. Senator Cruz, would you like to say a few words? Well, congratulations, gentlemen. The eyes of the world are upon you and everyone is proud of you. All of the America is watching you and today and yesterday represent big, big days. Uh, we're looking at a decade since we've had American astronauts launched on an American ship from American soil. And I can tell you I sat with my wife and kids in our living room watching on TV yesterday, and I suspect we did what just about everyone watching did, including both of you, which has held our breath as it took off. And we're glad to see you've landed safely. We're glad to see you've docked. Uh, and, and so let me ask you, that Dragon is, is, is an amazing vehicle. How does she handle? It uh, flew just like it was supposed to. It was, uh, we had a couple opportunities to uh, take it out for a spin, so to speak, uh, once uh, after we... Where we docked, and uh, my compliments to the folks back at uh, Hawthorne and SpaceX for uh, how well it flew. It uh, is exactly like the simulator, and uh, we couldn't be uh, happier about the performance of the vehicle. What do you guys hope to accomplish in your time on the International Space Station? Well, while we're on board the space station, of course, uh, with the new spacecraft, we do hope to put her through her paces. And so the good ship Endeavor is going to get a lot of a uh, checkout over the next uh, week or two here. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, declare her operational. And Doug and I will be able to take some burden off of uh, Chris and his crewmates, Ivan and Anatoly, so that uh, we can keep the space station operating at its uh, peak possibilities. So we're looking forward to contributing any way that we can and, uh, like I said, trying to keep Space Station as productive as possible. As a country, we're in the midst of a tough week. We're seeing protests. We're seeing a lot of anger. We're seeing violence. And I have to say this launch and y'all's docking is, is, is a powerful inspiration of what we can do when we come together, of the power of unity, uh, the power of ingenuity, and, and, and so I guess the last question I would ask you is, is, since you have the opportunity to address, in particular, all the young people in America, uh, what would you tell them in terms of what we can do when we can come together? You know, that's a great question. 
nine years ago, uh, just about exactly nine years ago, we docked with Atlantis uh, on STS-135, the last flight of the space shuttle program, a 30-year program. And folks at SpaceX, folks at NASA, the commercial crew program put their heads together and worked diligently year after year, making sacrifices, working hard. And then nine years later, American launch capability was restored. And this is just one, one effort that we can show for the ages in this dark time that we've had over the past several months uh, to kind of inspire especially the young people in the United States to, to reach for these lofty goals and work hard and look what you can accomplish. Thank you, gentlemen. God bless you. Thank you, Thank Senator you, Cruz. We have another very special guest here that represents the Johnson Space Center. Uh, and of course, it's my, my good friend from the House of Representatives, Dr. Brian Babin. And I want to be clear, he also was a big part of the NASA Transition Authorization Act, which gave us the continuity of purpose to make this uh, happen today. So, uh, gentlemen, here is Dr. Brian Babin from the state of Texas. Thank you. It's great to be with you guys. It, uh, I was at the launch yesterday. I just want to say a, a huge congratulations. And, uh, you know, there was a thunderstorm that blew in about 30 minutes or 45 minutes or so before uh, liftoff. And uh, <laughs> it was uh, in doubt there for a minute, but it was a, a, just an enormous achievement. I just want to say thank you for you guys. Uh, really appreciate uh, what you're doing for America. And uh, the crew that's already been up there, Chris, and your, uh, your two fellow Russians, uh, what a, what, to give you a great big thank you as well. I have a son who is a Navy SEAL, and I want to thank you for your service there too, Chris. And uh, also, uh, I would like to just see what what uh, what I, I know you said that the, that the, uh, the 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 craft, the Dragon, handled uh, very well. But I want to see how how it compares uh, with uh, with the space shuttle. If one of you would address that. I would appreciate it. Well, thank you, sir. It certainly has been a, a long endeavor for, for us and our, our nameship, uh, namesake spacecraft. We're uh, proud to have her on board the International Space Station. After all the okay, so alam na natin na nakapasok na sila Bob and Doug sa International Space Station. At this point po, uh, makakapahinga na tayo at kumbaga ay alam natin na they're safe, they're okay, uh, nandito na yung welcome ceremony. I guess uh, we can wrap up. Marami pong salamat ulit sa mga dumating, sa mga nakinood. Maraming marami pong salamat sa inyo. And I'll see you on our next video. Uh, sana po ay patuloy kayong manood at sumuporta sa ating Madam Info Channel. Thank you very much. God bless you all and stay safe. Keep healthy. Keep being healthy. And uh, dito po muna tayo magpapaalam. Salamat po. Good night. At matulog kayo ng maigi. Um, salamat po sa lahat. Hindi ako maka, maka, uh, makapagtapos sa pagpapaalam dahil talagang overwhelmed ako sa, sa inyong lahat sa pagdating nyo po ngayon. Thank you, Lord, Salahat, and God bless you. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, please click the like button. Again, kung hindi ka pa nag-subscribe, paki-click po ang subscribe button at pati na ang bell para ma-notify ka sa mga susunod nating videos. Ano ang masasabi mo sa topic natin ngayon? Please comment down below. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video. God bless!